and welcome to another episode of the average black man show today we're going to be talking about is the bible still relevant to use as a standard in dating and marriage i have my co-host tammy here tammy let's let's make it happen hi how are you i'm just chilling getting blacker by the minute that's all let me uh, let me take this um let me take this uh let me share it no no it's a do-ray I'm just no, I'm just gonna copy the uh the show and oh, I thought you were saying let me take this do rag off my head. Uh, <laughs> that's what you did on camera. Oh yeah, yeah, that's funny. But uh no, I'm just gonna um paste share the show in a couple of places. Uh or did I sh- no, that's not the show. I thought I shared the show. But yeah, let me just, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. <laughs> you Pardon me, not. everybody. We're, I'm, I'm, experiencing technical I'm, I'm experiencing technical difficulties. You got right. this. Go ahead. You got this. Right. Technical difficulties. There we are. Boom. Share the show right there. And yeah, so let me go ahead and play the first clip. Let me go ahead and play the first clip and let's get this ball rolling. So remember this, I feel like this. I feel like a woman and a man should not be together or stay together if the woman, if the, if the woman ain't being a woman, okay. because a man could be a man, are you really a woman is what I'm saying. But I think a man's supposed to pay the bulk of the bills, take the bulk of the responsibility and the women is supposed to make sure that man is happy, able to go out there and get that money and come home and take care of When you threw family. me off when you said the bulk of the bills. I See, mean, like the mortgage, the, the chin, you pay. I mean, he's paying the bills is what I'm saying. Uh, well, you, you got you to gotta get something, Lisa Ray. You got to get the light bill. Give him the mask, what do you mean? The water, but he giving you dick. Right, but that's supposed to be, let's take it back biblically. Biblically, the man is supposed to be the provider and the king of the household. Now, the wife, the woman, is supposed to be the mother of the household. She takes care of the house. Now, we new millennial women, so that's a bonus that we get. Okay, so you got to be evenly yoked. The husband got to match the husband. I'm going to tell you where get all thrown and where you get thrown you off. Mortgage. Mortgage. You can't ask me to pay the light bill because I pay the mortgage. I'm going to tell you where you get thrown off. I'm going to tell you where you get thrown off. That's what I'm saying. When you're sick of me, you gonna tell me to get out. I'm you because you're supposed to be doing everything that you're supposed to be doing. So let's go back. You're going to make me do what I need to be doing. Let's go back to the Bible. Let's go back right after the Bible. Let's go back right after the Bible. I think we need to go up to commercial because I think I need to get you together. No, 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 no. Let's go back right after the Bible. Right after the Bible. Okay. Did your daddy pay for your wedding? No. See, see, that's what I up here right now. My father was not living. That's why. Okay, so. But it would have still been a million dollar wedding. Believe that. Okay. Now, here's the thing. The father is supposed to give their daughters away okay. to the man. And the man is supposed to, at that point, take, take care. all the responsibility. Okay, okay, okay. And my father now, what we was do, a king, and now, now, I now, now, was a princess. Right now, I'm a queen, so you got to come with it. Okay, so now, you don't for, be me stuck, to be paying, for me to be paying all the bills, let's say I'm paying all the bills. That just let me know. All right, there would be a damn commercial would come on. I want to take a walk on the I won't it. stop till I'm satisfied. Uh, damn it. I just wanna go out. Let's say I'm paying all the bills. No, that's the problem. I've paid all the bills for many of years. So that's this what you feel the problem okay, is. So you paid all the I'm bills, paying you all the bills. All right, I gotta pause it for a minute for the whole not to get the copyright flag or whatever. So right. yeah, how you feel about that? Well, I just feel like um, I I can understand from both perspectives, and I just feel like oh, I don't know. I just feel like um, I think I just feel like Lisa Ray. She wants to be. I feel like in certain aspects, 
she wants to have things that are, uh, like she said, biblical and traditional, you know, stuff like that. But then we're not living in those times and we're not living in, and she's not, that's the thing. She doesn't want to live in completely in those times either, I'm sure. Because right. if that's the case, she would have way too much math and I'm not even saying that that that's me and every other woman I know too but we have way too much mouth for biblical times you know what I'm saying right the whole way she was getting at him right there was mm, just, too much just, mouth right yeah yeah so I don't know I feel like a lot of, it, I just feel like a lot of people want to like um like they keep saying, I want this traditional, I want that traditional. And they don't really, they don't even really know what that entails, I think. Yeah, they just be talking out the side of their neck, right? Exactly. And then on the other hand, I feel like she's been a woman who man has taken care of everything. So therefore, she's that's a, a, a lifestyle she's accustomed to. And ain't nothing wrong with that either. You see what I'm saying? I think women who be like, oh, you crazy if you think a man's going to do this, this, and that. It's like, because you just never had it, sis. Right. You see what I'm saying? So you think those traditional roles shouldn't stand? You don't You don't believe that men should pay everything? You should bring it? I'm not saying that. I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I'm not saying. I'm saying every relationship is different. What I'm saying is, like remember I, in in our chat i kept saying modern problems just for like modern. uh dave Chappelle kept saying modern problems for modern times you know what i'm saying yeah, modern solutions right i mean sorry there you go modern solutions for modern times and i just feel like i mean it just depends it depends on where you are like you know you might live in a in a state like california where i mean dudes ain't like able to just pay everything not a lot you know what i'm saying the the majority of dudes are not just able to pay everything now if you live in oklahoma or something like that or a state that's more affordable then it's like yeah you might find you a guy that's able to just pay the bills the rent the every i mean not right. even the rent but everything you know what i'm saying in a lot of places like that where the cost of living is lower the income is also lower too though so why but they said but there's men out here making money like don't don't let the school taste fool you it's some men out here making money let me throw on this this rebuttal video like i said i, I had mm -hmm. another video with the 20 year olds and the 20 year olds 20 to 30 year olds make a rebuttal here we go friends clowning them and they they just don't be wanting to do it because they feel like they gonna get played when i feel like men are supposed to be men and they're supposed they to treat their women they have, they have a part to play it's in the bible like what's going mm -hmm. on men want to be taken out and all this other stuff like you a man like be a man like a man uh, hold on hold on you want a man in the bible so that's a traditional man correct yeah but modern day women aren't traditional themselves why well, should he be traditional it's the generation now oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's the generation oh, that we're in no 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 it's the generation do you feel like he had a stinger or no <laughs> they did he did for sure for sure but i feel like come on now i mean these are 20 year olds like number one these are 20 something year olds number two uh yeah shouldn't know i mean it can't can't nobody claim traditional at this point right men or women okay, i'm gonna play this more that we in and men i feel like men stop valuing women and appreciating their exactly. women yes. and making sure that their women is straight Period. You hear you hear her talking about some the husband cheating on the wife and all this other stuff and giving more money to the side bitch and giving money to the main bitch. No, that's 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 okay. originally wrong. If you want to be honest in the Bible, adultery is, is a sin. You get your head chopped off or some crazy ass shit like that. That's wrong. Like mm -hmm. if we want to go back there, but in the generation that we okay, in now, so what, what? men want to be treated like women. Now that's, that's Do you agree with her? You think these days men want men want to be catered to? I do believe that in the case I do make a joke. I had a joke about that before that y'all would have been like, oh my God. Because I did make a joke about that before. I said all these dudes want to be, they want to be bad bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of men do. But I'm just saying, I, it's just, 
it's nothing wrong with catering to your man though. It's nothing wrong with treating him like you want to be treated, you know? Yeah. All right. You know, I gotta say shout out to Fresh and Fit for this for YouTube purposes. I'm gonna play a little more. Okay. Talk about it. let's be serious. And they want to be taken out. They want to be treated nice. They want to, and they want that off rip. Like, whoa, whoa, wait, you supposed to be doing that for me? But like I've I met, said, a, I've met a lot of feminine guys. Yeah, the rules are now reverse. The yeah. rule, I feel like that if women are making more money than men. Yeah, exactly. niggas be lazy as hell now. They don't mm -hmm. want to do nothing. They, they try. Want you, sell drugs. They want you to do everything I mean, for them. Want to see you. All and right. don't do nothing okay. for you. All right. So like, we're not gonna we're not gonna argue with you guys that a lot of men are feminized. As a matter of fact, that's why our podcast is exploding, is because we teach guys how to be more masculine. Yeah. However, you guys mentioned a bunch of traits that traditional men exhibit. Modern day women are not traditional. Are any of you guys virgins? No. Uh, exactly. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Well, no, 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 no. Because if we're gonna put the standard on men that you want them to pay bills and be masculine and protect you, whatever. Let's go all the way. Can you, cook? you guys can't. You Can guys cook? cannot expect Clean. a traditional man while you absolve yourself of traditional feminine responsibilities because that's a bad deal for the man. Yeah, absolutely. So none of you are virgins. Okay. Uh, how many of you are good cooks and have a recipe book or whatever it may be? Recipe book? See, no, I, I, feel, I, feel, I, feel, I feel like it's different now. Well, the, wife, the wife does. Yeah, the one. wife does. Sorry, so, I feel like that used Mark, to play hold a hold part. Let me, let me continue. Let me continue. Because if we're going to, like I said, if we're going to have, and you'll be able to rebut this, but the point I'm trying to make is, is that women cannot hold men to traditional standards, not be traditional themselves, and then expect a man to pay full price for a depreciating asset. I'm going to say that again. You cannot be non-traditional women and want the man to be traditional on his side and pay full price for a depreciating asset that isn't traditional on his end. Because whether... How you feel about that? Tammy, don't. Did you walk? Or you, where'd you go? So you on mute? Oh, I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah. I don't like that wording. Depreciated asset. Asset, nigga. You a depreciating asset. What <laughs> happens? No, for real. What happens at the end of the day with a man? What happens? Your penis doesn't get as hard as it's supposed to. Your, you know what I'm saying? Get out of here. Like these girls are sitting up here thinking they got these. Okay, like if you think about it, you get a 25, you say a, a 45 year old man marries him a little 25 year old hottie. She thinking she got this good dude that's like, I mean, he, I'm gonna take care of my wife, I'm gonna do this. And she don't even know his penis capacity for real, for real. But that's because not what because it done, it done, it done. A 45 it done year old man is dating a 20 something year old. She don't like him. She like his house. That's, that's not, not always true. That's not always true. Because I actually met a 40 year old when I was 25. I don't know. These 40 year olds are fine sometimes. See the face? Mm. No, that's not true. Yeah. That's not what I was looking for. Right. Nah. Uh, no, 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 no. Just like it's not always about because some men might think I'm 25. They usually do sometimes. But I'd be like, uh, no, I'm like, you know, my age. And <laughs> okay, let me let him cook a little. I'm gonna let him cook a little more than. I just don't like the way he said that depreciating assets was like, your assets are depreciating too. I think men feel like, oh, okay, well, since we're the protectors and the providers, that is the most important thing on earth. So if we're not protecting and providing, then you guys don't, you know what I'm saying? That is the most the, uh, thing on earth. And it's like, no, I mean, there's other things, women provide things, you know what I'm saying? Well, according to Lisa Ray, women provide the the kitty cat. That's all Lisa Ray said. We provide the kitty cat, but no, women provide big children as well. She you can't have a woman kid. without a child. You I mean, I'm mean, sorry, it. you can't have a child without a woman. She, she said, shut up, said, whatever. What else the woman <laughs> gonna bring? She said the kitty cat and oh, that's that her. Like, you know what? She said, her. Well, we bring the ding -a -ling too. So it's like, well, what are you talking about? Is it transaction? But that's that's her. No, because dingling ain't really worth pretty and too much, you know. 
I'm like, this is transactional, really? But she, you know, that's her understanding of it, you know? But go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, let me send it to you. Women want to accept it or not? The reason why men were traditional and chivalrous was because women were virgins. They're polite, they're feminine, they're submissive. And when you got a wife, she was a wife, not a boss babe, not a boss bitch, none of this stupidity that's going on. So what's happened is female liberation has given you guys the liberation you want. But with every action comes a reaction. Female liberation, guys realize they don't got to pay for the cow when they can get the milk for free. You guys created this. Yeah. So we got to take some accountability here. You can't complain about the state of men because men always acquiesce to the situation and adapt and innovate to get sex. Either, either. I also, so how do we break this? Fire. I also, I also think a lot of it is like these men are expecting women to be a housewife, but it's like, you know, the woman has to work too. Times have changed. Like the woman can't be a housewife and work. Why not? Uh, is the man gonna work and be a house man? Like he's not gonna do the chores because he's you, working at full time. You do know I'm, our, I'm working full time, so why am I gonna be the housewife? You do know our grandparents, gym? grandmother used to work, come home, cook, clean, take care of the kids, and do it all over again the next day. That As was a normal. woman, that's what you're supposed to do. You that to keep is what you're supposed clean. to do. All right. How you feel about that? What's going on, Isaiah? Man, shit. I just I was uh, I was playing Call of Duty when you was uh I just got done with a little round and shit. So Your ass should have been on this. No, I'm, sorry. No, I feel I'm here, edge. Tammy. I'm here, Tammy. So don't. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good too. Hi. Hi, Hi Isaiah. How are you? Oh yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just feel that in that clip, I feel the age is coming out right. Cause I feel the age is coming out in the sense of they sound a little both of both sides sound a little stupid, because she said, "Well, we can't just da, 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 da. like it's just a, a pleasure." Like, oh, well, it, I mean, for some women, it is, you know. I want to be able to make my own money, yada yada yada. But in, in a nutshell, she said, I don't need to... uh, okay, go ahead. I just want. I'm just. But she said, uh, "What are you trying to say?" I'm just saying, just in a nutshell, what is she saying? What, what just, what were they discussing? Uh, go ahead, um, tell him what they just discussed. In a nutshell, a uh, baby girl in the white dress with the purple hair was saying that a lot of men these days are expecting women to treat them as men like women. They want you to take them out. They want you to go half on dates and whatever. And then she says, a man is supposed to man be a man like it's in the Bible. And then the, the the brother on there, his rebuttal was is like, oh, you're asking for a traditional man, but women don't want to be traditional women. So how right. You, right. So it's like you can't well, man, you can't ask for a man to be a certain way and then you not be traditional and then have him pay full price for something that you know that that he's not getting for being traditional. Right. Well, men ain't being like, traditional men either because they want you to pay half the rent. But like, but that's, that's not what she's talking about. But that's, I, well, I don't know. Again, I don't know what it's saying, but I don't know. I, it's funny because I just saw a post on Facebook. It was this guy saying, like, he was saying, like, ladies, stop going out on dates with men. And if you know you're not interested in having them spend money, do this or that, and you know you're not going to get them no play. No, now, I agree. Now, I do, and I, I do agree too. with that. I, and I do too be, because. This chick got on there and she was like saying like, oh, you know, because men were commenting and she she thought like men were being like, I don't know, overbearing about it. I don't know. But she kept saying, oh, here come the heat man woman haters. But it's like nobody is saying we hate women. But at the same time, it's like what you guys feel like at the end of the day, like your vagina is to you like you guys, you know. I agree. Like, no, you feel I, like I agree. Like and you I'm, I'm going to agree for a whole different reason. I because it's like, because you don't want, my you don't want, you but, don't... but hold on really quick. You don't want to be ahead. like men to feel entitled to your pussy, but you can't be feeling entitled to his pockets if he can't feel entitled to getting something after either. You see what I, I'm saying? Like, I, I agree with that, but I also agree with this. I was born in 1981 and I was born whoop. in the era where women were getting our word. Okay. 
And it was we're like, getting what? No. You guys are getting what now? R word. What's that? You know, you know that word. I don't want to say it. I, mean, I, I don't. I mean, are we monetizing it? Okay. Well, what, women were getting raped. Oh, okay. Like, I'm like, wait, what do you? I'm like, I was oh, trying huh? to be. I'm trying to be media. Oh, well, okay. You just killed it. But anyway. Well, that's well, what I, I, said, I grew up we, in the era where a lot of women were getting raped and stuff like that. So therefore, it's like, no. I mean, my thing is this. We know, trust me, as we got older, we realized no woman makes a man want to do that type of thing. But at the same time, it's men who get mad. They like, this B had me take her out and get do this and I paid da 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 and she ain't gonna give me no vagina, I'ma take it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so well, yeah, that's, it's that's, like that's no. out of line. That's, yeah. yeah I, just, I mean that is I, out of line, but still no baby. I came up in that era, so it's like I'm not even finna do that to you. If I ain't messing with you, I don't like you, I don't like you. That's it. I was I briefly I briefly dated this girl. It was very brief and this is why. It was one of the reasons why. She told me, she was like, yeah, when we first met, like, started hanging out, she was like, you know. Because the first day I met, I met her, I met her one evening at this little spot. Mm-hmm. We're hanging out. We're hanging out the next day. She's at my house. You know what I'm saying? Spending the night type shit. And then I go and spend the night at her house the next night when I drop her off. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, okay. So she's saying all this. And then she's like, yeah. And this, I don't have a problem with this. She's like, I, I kind of want to take things slow, you know, as far as sexually and all that stuff. That's fine. I respect that because I've been in, I've been in situations. I remember when I was celibate, I wasn't having sex. I had to tell the female the same mm-hmm. thing. Like, hey, like, you know, I'm not really on that right now. Like, but if you want to get to know each other, then maybe eventually I might mm-hmm. feel enough to be like, all right, we can have sex. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I just remember. So then she was saying all this, right? Like, yeah, she want to take things slow. I'm like, what's slow about the fact you didn't already spent the night at my house the the following day you met me, right? <laughs> I spent the night at your house the next night, and I met your parents. You get what I'm saying? Like, you, you want to take things slow. If you ask me, that's kind of going kind of quick. If you ask me, I know where you live. You know where I live. I didn't met your I, parents. I think, so, okay, those type of girls, that's that's like the, that's the like, I want to tickle and I want to play tickle in the bed. <laughs> Right. Well, I mean, they, like I said, like, them type of girls. they don't know what the hell they want. <laughs> well, here's the thing, though. So she, but then she started telling me, she started hinting me at things she wanted me to pay for, like things for us to do, like ice skating and, mm-hmm. and all this other type, taking her out, doing all this type of shit. But I'm like, you're, 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 you're slow to give up the pussy, but you're quick to want me to spend my money. You know what I'm saying? Because. At the at the end of the day, what you guys to you guys, you feel like your vagina is. That's what we feel like our time and our money is. Like that's well, how we I feel, feel like about my it. time. Like, I, okay, I don't like spending my time and my money either, and I don't spend my, my time here's, and money on men. But, but I'm just saying. But here's the thing: I did. I wouldn't have minded if she was like, we can still get to know each other without the fact that I. Because at the end of the day, it's an investment. Let's just keep it real. Like if we're gonna, because we can get to know each other without me taking you out to eat. I can come over and cook for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do I have to go out and spend, you know what I'm saying, for us to get to know each other, for you to figure out whether or not I am worthy enough for any extracurricular activity. I don't mm-hmm. need to go out and spend all this money to do that because at the same time, I might, I I could be like, I want more than just us fucking. Like, if we're going to be in a relationship, then that's going to take more vetting, obviously. But don't be like, oh, I want to be take things slow. It's not as as just about right about money. If you feel like I, I would say this to any man, if you feel like the chick is just about money, then guess what? She probably is just about money, but guess what? Your ass probably just ain't got it like that, and that's why you feel a certain type Either of way. way. But e- no, but even if I did have it like that, like I was just, just baller, this and that, same thing, because I'm at an age now where like I can't be like playing around like that. We're like, oh, just sleeping around and this and that. Like, no. So it, 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 it that might be an age thing or where you might be at mentally. I but don't I feel even like, think it's I don't even think it's an age thing. I mean, look but at I all said, these, or mentally, no, look at all these at? athletes. No, it's where you are mentally. It's not an age thing because it's well, like, that's what I'm saying. Look at all these comes... athletes and shit. These niggas is older than me and you. And they still yep. be out here tricking. But that here's the thing though. That might be because they might not want to get married. They might not want anything. No, but get tied down. Like yes, that. they get married, but they do but get you, married. Everyone yeah, looks and, and they know. get married, and then a lot Lizada, of them. 
Which but a lot of them, too, get married. I mean, no, the basketball wise, this chick get married every two years to a baller. Okay. And here's you the thing. Tell and me that's, she don't know where the money at. That's not even, that's not, I, I get that. I, I agree, but I'm just saying, again, like the players you said, the football players that are old, they've probably been married before and tried the married thing already. It was like, nah, you know, I don't want to be tied mm-hmm. down. Like, I got all this money, all this status, this fame, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't, I didn't did my, I didn't, I didn't been married and had kids, had a family. Okay. And like some women feel like the same way too. Once they get done with that, they want to go and have their fun, quote unquote, whatever, not be tied down. Mm-hmm. Now, me, because I said the same thing. I said, I got one good marriage in me. And after that, sugar daddy like, You know what I'm saying? Because, again, like some men, like you said, if you want to go into society now, but then bring it back into the Bible days, we got to understand something. Like when you want to apply the Bible to this, it's like, first off, we don't we don't bear the the, the, the the discipline to have that type of a mindset to live like our ancestors, not even just people in the Bible, but people in those times, period. Because a lot of nations and countries, a lot of nations had the same mentality, mindset, culture and system mm-hmm. and way of doing things as far as dating okay. and marriage went. You see what I'm saying? Okay. But that requires. More discipline, because you can't like as somebody who's like who studies the scripture and to the best of their ability, has followed it, has applied it to life, has lived it, and realizing that you can't just say, oh, this part I'll take, but then that part I'll leave alone, because then you're like, not understanding when you have, when you're dealing with a culture and law and and, and order and structure, you can't just pick and choose, because one thing you'll accept, but one thing you will not accept is the thing that you won't accept is what's going to keep the thing back that you are accepting from really flourishing, because it's like, how are you going to do this how you gonna say a man? How you gonna say a man gotta have this? Like you said, but you ain't got this. You see what I'm saying? Like where's the balance in that? Like you want a traditional man, but you don't want to be. But a is traditional that what? Woman. But okay, I get that. But what's the? What, oh, okay, a traditional woman. Because I was gonna say. That's what I'm, first yeah, of all, balance. I mean, when it comes to certain things, the balance is not what isn't always quite balanced, right? I mean, again, it isn't, and that's why I was saying like. When you try to pull things, not you, but like when, you know, you try to, mm-hmm. or when people try to pull in like, oh, well, this is how our ancestors did it. And it's like, we got to find that medium. We got to find that middle ground. And that's to what I feel. And that's how I feel. I said, that's what, and you know, what's so funny. Dave Chappelle said it, said, and he was, it was a joke, but I still say it to this day. Modern problems require modern solutions. Yeah. Because again. That the mindset is not like mm-hmm. because you gotta understand too. When you let's let's look at some of our black leaders like Malcolm X and Elijah Muhammad. I take them for example, right? Mm-hmm. When they came and they was building the nation of Islam, you know, of course there were gonna be some things that, and there were some things that people were gonna mm-hmm. side eye like what? But according to you know Elijah Muhammad, well that's how they did it. The ancestors, that's how you know what I'm saying. But at the right. same time, and that's, when you've and been that's raised how they did up, Elijah Muhammad though. It, that's a specific religion too. But either way, but it, but I said either way, right? Because when they was finding out, oh, he got all these wives and this mm. and that, and we're not even just wives, you know. But it was girls. okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But if so you what look at that, that, what happened with that? Okay, sorry, that's side note. That's nothing. Nothing. What, mean, what happened with that? So I mean, why? Whoop. So he was. Oh, it was okay for him to have underage wives. Again, see, that's the thing. See, they were sovereign too. What does that mean? You know what I'm saying? Well, so what sovereign. was they? Okay, so what was that? Well, okay, I don't so know what's, why y'all, I was... what's y'all level? So what's y'all age range? Well, That's my thing is, is I don't, I don't, no, I don't deal with women past like a like a certain age. I don't know. I mean, definitely no one under eighteen, but even in your twenties, you got to be a certain age for me. I've only okay. had sex with a woman younger than twenty two one time. Well, my, and that, and was, that just... was my question. Well, that was my question because, like you said. If he was having sex with underage women, I was just kind of wondering. Well, we don't like, know. But then, well, because we don't know where the consent came from, not just the girl, but did her parents okay it? You see what I'm saying? That's another thing, too. Like, if her, because in some is states, another because, thing. because in some states, you can marry at 16 with your parents' consent. Consent. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, yeah. and that's what I'm saying. Like, again, that's why I don't call this the United States. How are you going to be united, but different states got different laws? That's another story. But you see what I'm saying? So we don't know what the consent mm-hmm. of the parents were. And that's even kind of right. similar to like the R. Kelly situation, right? If you say you got these women 
bringing some their them, daughters to this. I man. think some of them were. Some of them were, but no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not, and I'm not and at all. I'm, hold on, I'm not justifying what he did at all. I'm, I'm not. I'm just. But saying you're saying if you that, got those parents bringing their daughters, then they gave their consent. Right. Exactly. But, so you can't. But too my thing much. is this: even if okay, but even if somebody's parent gave them consent and brought their daughter to R. Kelly at ten. That's still a crime. Yo, yeah, well, of course, because the girl's ten. She ain't even hit virgin, uh, uh, that's puberty what I'm or saying. none of that that's, stuff. That's what I'm saying. Okay, well, thirteen. There you go. Boom, puberty. Let yeah. me give you my daughter at thirteen. That still should be a crime, that's but it should crime. not just well, be should. a crime on R. Kelly, but it needs to be a crime on the parents too. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Why did the parents get to go free? Right. Like, I, if, if no, we're gonna we hold everybody accountable, we already know. We yeah. Yeah. But again, like I said, there's certain. A lot what of white parents, folks, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. My bad. No, I was going to say a lot of them parents. We already know a lot of them parents should be on trial, too. Yeah. And, and that's my thing, too, because I got to people like in the Bible. raggedy ass parents. And yeah, I said it. Yeah, because like I said, again, we can't bring back what our, our ancestors were doing, especially in the Bible, because remember, they were marrying their second cousins, third cousins. You see what I'm saying? Well, like, and they it was say, very I don't know about second, but they say third. You know, they say third cousins. Are far enough removed where you don't really have DNA. You well, what about DNA. Well, what about Abraham but and I don't, Sarah? I, you know, Abraham and Sarah I, were brother and sister. Well, look, <laughs> I don't know. Ew. But I don't. But I'm just saying, know. like, you but, you. but that's again, you got to understand the culture of keeping the bloodline pure, the inheritance pure within no, the nation. So, I think you know, that's something that the the W people told us because that's what they do especially like over there and like um because you know a lot of them in in um in the uk that's what they do well Keep i'm not saying that everybody everybody is that. Crap. but for the record there are a lot of cultures right now in 2022 where they still do and you know what and i think they get it from the, the w and people the and they, they get it from the dw people well no they were doing it before that long before that it's all it's who who, who invented it who invented like, it a lot of arabs and indian cultures whenever there they was nasty. Money in the family, okay then they nasty whenever too. there was money in the family <laughs> they would intermarry within the family to keep okay money. well they're disgusting too well you just but you gotta un- but you gotta understand something but the only thing why, only reason why you think it's disgusting though, is one reason, not you, but I, I see why a lot is because you think you're about the why people. I get it. Mm-hmm. Because it's like people look at the relationship because you're thinking, that's my cousin. That's my cousin, right? That's how you're, that's my cousin. Well, but they like say Tim the said, only cousins, but, they say third, no, they say third cousins are safe because third cousins are like more like no, they I, don't I get have it. enough DNA, you know. And I, 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 I totally get that part. Because you remember, Lot's mm-hmm. daughters mm-hmm. Lot's daughters had sex with him after they destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, and they thought him, the world you know what? Him. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. That's disgusting. That's why that... That's I know, but I'm just, I'm just saying. But you got to understand, too, you know, the reasoning behind it a lot of times. Because you got to say, there's always a flip side to something. There you know, is you can a be like, flip oh. side, Ty, because then, you know why? I look at it like, a lot of well, brothers and sisters who end up having... Who end up procreating together have kids that are mentally disabled. Well, yeah, I, right. We're not talking more like that's. I mean, the incest okay. thing. That's a whole nother, that's so, a whole nother yeah. thing, that's you know. But if you have, but but again, if you have like cousins that are far separated, like I got like a, I got a, like on my dad's side of the family, it's huge. I mean, like down south, they all over the place. It and doesn't I a, and, matter, and you and might no, you better leave them little green eyed pretty chicks alone. <laughs> but I'm just saying. All I'm saying is Might that if we cousin. were, if we were living in them times, I had distant cousin. It wouldn't have been a thing to marry her because, again, I don't, I don't know her. We don't have a relationship bond to where I'm like, oh my god, she's my cousin. Because when I meet her, it's not gonna be like, oh my god, you're my cousin. Okay, but then you, you might, what I'm like, you might run the risk of having a, a developmentally disabled child. Maybe, maybe. But at, like I said, in this case, again, that wasn't the case in the Bible because Isaac went and married no, his cousin. Still and, have- but you don't, you not, you ain't but, even a, um, okay. What I'm just Bible saying, like, talking about I'm people? just, look, I gotta say, I'm talking about King James Version. Isaac married his cousin. Rebecca was okay, his cousin. You, did, you, did you really, oh my gosh, we have to do a show on that. And that's a side note. King James did some, he did the Bible. He wrote the Bible, right? No, he and did then not. He, he did not he, write the Bible. Or whatever, his name is on it. But then he did some, uh, 
then he did some like thing on like Satanism or something like that. Did you guys hear about that? I mean, I've yes, actually sir. I have. Y'all need, even say, to, but even, re, y'all need but, to research that. He I, did. But he even, did some. Yeah, it, then he was like and, 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 and just like they talk about, and then they try to say he was black when he wasn't black, actually. They try to say right. King James was black, but we went and did a little, me and one of my brothers from the nation, we're doing a little, we'll do, we found hey, out. Y'all, y'all, are, y'all are going. Sorry, okay, sorry, sorry, but okay. <laughs> But no, yeah, I don't, I, like I said again. I, I mean, as far as the dating and society goes, like for me, like sure well, we want to say we want we want to. Okay. I'm gonna play another. Okay. Gonna back this up. All right, let's play another video. Well, just so Isaiah can catch up. They they have have they have they because now they do nice things, they and they they just don't be wanting to do it because they feel like they gonna get played. When I feel like men are supposed to be men, and they're supposed to treat their women, they have they have a part to play. It's in the Bible. Like what's going Mm -hmm. on? Men want to be taken out and all this other stuff. Like you a man? Like be a man? Like a man? uh, Hold on, hold on. You want a man in the Bible? So that's a traditional man, correct? Yeah. But modern day women aren't traditional themselves. Why should he be traditional? Yeah. Yeah. The silence is deafening. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm silent because I'm listening. Not, not you. I'm not talking about you. Oh. I'm talking about them. Oh, okay. Come on, Pam. Right. Come on, Pam. You really tell me? Come on. I'm just asking. I mean, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I just, again, I mean, he makes, he makes a good point again, like I said. like, But again, we don't, we don't have that. It's not. We, we don't have that privilege of, like, other nations. Like, even other countries. Like, even when they come here. You know, they try to, you know, they still implement their cultural values and all that stuff from their country. But when you come into another land like America where you got so much more, things are more free, if that makes sense. Things are more loosely kept, we'll say, quote unquote, as far as like, because when you go to other countries, for example, there are certain things you can't do there that you think is okay here that you might think is like little. You see what I'm saying? Or they got they do things so much differently than here because they care f- more not only for their people but they understand that America is like we're divided because everybody does their own thing here. So there's such a mass influence when they come over here, you know, they fear maybe their kids are going to get whitewashed or they'll get I don't want to say blackwashed, but you know start hey, you see what I'm saying? So that's the thing I that mean- but we I but have we've to had to agree in this. But sense. but we've had to. But we gotta understand. But we've had to. We had to actually live it. You see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. when you come over here, you got somewhere like I said again. You got a place like America where things are just kind of like, hey, do your own thing. Pretty much, just don't break certain rules and laws. It's not as strict over here as it is over there. So you come over here, try to live that same mindset here, to the T, to the book. It's going to be hard, real hard, because you got so much more people around you and your family and your kids who don't have that mindset, who have an American mindset, which are two, they're opposites. So now you got the influence of TV, media, social media, technology, all that stuff that goes into it, too, that makes it hard for you to really, really be like, oh, I'm going to follow this to the T and to the book, because there are certain things in there here in America they don't allow you to do from your own culture. So you see what I'm saying? So you do run that risk. Of, you know, your kids becoming, you know, marrying to other nations, other other races and mm-hmm. all whatever. You know, as you open up, that's that's what happens when you come here. You got to give I, up. A piece I of agree. Your I agree. So, I agree with that. But once you come but, here, they all assimilate to this this culture. And that's that. They, not all of them. Not all of them. They all well, not don't. all of them. Well, Isaiah, you know what but, I'm play another little clip real quick. Is that what's her name? Okay. <laughs> I yeah, feel she like this. She, I feel she, like oh, a woman and a man should not be together or stay together. The woman, if the, if the woman ain't being a woman, okay. because a man could be a man, or you really a woman is what I'm saying. But I think a man is supposed to pay the bulk of the bills, take the bulk of the responsibility, and then women is supposed to make sure that man is happy, able to go out there and get that money and come home and take care of his family. When you threw me off when you said the bulk of the bills. I mean, like the mortgage, the the shit you pay. I mean, you pay the bills. What I'm saying. Uh, well, you you gotta you gotta get something, Lisa Ray. You gotta get the light. Give him a mask. What do you mean? The water, but he giving you dick. Right, but that's supposed to be. Let's take it back biblically. Biblically, the man is supposed to be the provider and the king of the household. 
Now the wife, the woman, is supposed to be the mother of the household. She takes care of the house. Now we new millennial women, so that's a bonus that we get. Okay, that. so you got to be what, evenly yoked. I'm gonna tell you where you all throw it, where you get thrown off. You can't ask me to pay the light bill because I pay the mortgage. I'm gonna tell you where you get thrown off. I'm gonna tell you where you get thrown off. That's what I when say. When you're sick of me, you gonna tell me to get out. you because you supposed to be. All right, all right, all right. I I I agree with her actually. I don't. I agree with Lisa actually on this one. This for and me I personally. Know because, why? I, I want to know why. Why what? You agree? I I was about to get to that. Um, yeah. <laughs> she said it, and scripturally, yes, the man is the main provider. Now, given I I see what Trick is saying, but again. No, bro, because if you can pay a mortgage, that means you have a house. You can't pay the utilities, my nigga. Like, you got a mortgage. You can afford a mortgage. I feel like at that point, utilities should be nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, now, if you work and you pay all, you make all the money, because even in the Bible said that women, you know, they made their own food, clothing, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff in her home. You know what I'm saying? She bought fields. You know, she bought land. She planted on it, planted food, whatever the family needed. From what the money that comes from what the husband provides. You see what I'm saying? So even in scripturally, you can see that women have businesses. You know what I'm saying? They made money too, you know, but it wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna have to make this money to provide now, because that's what he he's providing the money for me to go out and to do that. You see what I'm saying? So now you just have you have two incomes now. You have dual income. You see what I'm saying? So I can still foot the whole bill as far as the household goes. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how I feel. Like me personally, like I don't really want to get married until I know that I can actually do that. Because I, I have think, but I, I, think, I think you have more of a different type of man mindset on that than a lot of these men out here today. Well, that's that's the mindset in the Bible. Again, you yeah, couldn't go out and get married today, unless you lot, you couldn't well, get you married well, unless you whole, when did marriage even come up? Because in the Bible. Don't it say whoever you sleep with, that's who your wife is, that's who you took as your wife. Technically, technically is who she was supposed to be. Yes. For most yes. for most when for you the slept most part, with but her, that was your wife. Again, but that wasn't always the case. You see what I'm saying? Because either you yeah, wife her, her, like I said, told and if she wasn't, and, and if she wasn't a virgin, you had to pay. Either way, right. okay. Right, now hang on, Bible, hang on. Something he just said. That. Hang on. Let me play this because what he just said goes right goes right together with this. Okay. Sure. You guys mentioned a bunch of traits that traditional men exhibit. Modern day women are not traditional. Are any of you guys virgins? No. Uh, exactly. Wait, wait, wait. Well, no, 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 no. Because if we're going to put the standard on men that you want them to pay bills and be masculine and protect you, whatever, let's go all the way. Can you, cook, you guys can't, you guys cook, cannot expect clean. a traditional man while you absolve yourself of traditional feminine responsibilities because that's a bad deal for the man. Yeah, absolutely. So none of you are virgins. Okay. Uh, how many of you are good cooks and have a recipe book or whatever it may be? Recipe book? See, no, I, 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 feel like, I feel like it's different now. Well, the, wife, the wife does. Yeah, the one. wife does. Sorry, so, guys. I feel like that used for to play a, a part. Let me, let me continue. Let me continue. Because if we're going to have, like I said, if we're going to have, and you'll be able to rebut this, but the point I'm trying to make is, is that women cannot hold men to traditional standards, not be traditional themselves, and then expect a man to pay full price for depreciating asset. I'm going to say that again. You <laughs> cannot be. Not <laughs> I'm mad he can't depreciate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I know it's funny, you guys. I don't like the word. I, no, I can't I believe he used that, that word. I, I, say, yeah, I said that. No, I said the same thing. And you know what? He said depreciating assets. But my thing is this you guys have depreciating assets too. What happened to your penis? As you get older, it don't get as hard as it's supposed. You to. just said as we get older, though. As a we normal get older, body our function. Shit, our, our, well, our shit depreciates. He's he not talking about that though. He's what not talking about depreciating talking about? over what time. He means depreciating with each sexual no, partner that you BS. haven't had. That's not what he's yeah, talking about. BS. He's not. No, that, he's not talking I, about. He's I'm not talking gonna, about you getting all, older I would never and never take. Okay, but first of all, that's not what he's I saying. I'm, okay, but I don't I'm, care, and I would never take my advice from a person like him anyway. 
That's, so, that's fine. We my vaj- that it's our mental. All, this, like I said, these are all vaj- opinions. But our vaj- but our vaj- days don't depreciate. So that what that tells me, he he doesn't know anything about the woman female anatomy. What do you mean by depreciate? You mean like what do you mean by you, you don't? Like, what your do you mean? vagina doesn't. Well, I'm assuming that you her. sleep with women to be able to make that type of assertion. No, what I'm saying. <laughs> how can I'm how can it? How wait a minute? But wait, wait, tell me how can it? How but you just said how it does. That's the whole point. It does depreciate once you start having sex. But that's why no, you don't get paid, finish? and let, no. that's why the father couldn't get paid for you unless you were a virgin. Okay, first of all, but that's BS. <laughs> but that's BS. Okay. But that's bullshit, though. That's but you gotta bullshit. understand too why that was. No, like what, a lot of things. Understand? No, no, no. Listen, a lot of things were bullshit. Just like a lot of things right now are bullshit. That was bullshit. So why was why was it bullshit that a woman had to be a virgin? Why is that bullshit? Uh, no, I didn't say it was bullshit because you had to be a virgin. But you just said with each man that you have sex with, your vagina depreciates. That's I did not say that. Not true. I said that's I was going off of what he said. I said that's not how and he's I saying said it. That's not true. So he don't know what the heck he's talking about. Because you understand too though. Because you gotta even go like um body count huh? does matter for both men but, and women. Especially body because like you said, you make it in a sense. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. I know somebody, let me tell you, I have a lot of male friends and a lot of female friends as well. And first of all, I've never had a child come out of my vagina in my life. And I've known people who have. And guess what? I know somebody who said he was with a woman that had six of them. Six out of her JJ. And her stuff was still great, tight, whatever. Now again, it, 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 the six six are the same the six, and they all got the same. They got all they all got the same daddies. Does that matter? Hey, hang on, y'all. Hang on, y'all. You sound crazy. Hey, hey hang I on, y'all. I just want to know. Please, hi, Denise. Let me see her. Let's say hello to me. Hello. Hi, hello, Denise. hello. Hi. I just. I you just sound know. crazy, whether it's the same person or not. How? You no, sound I crazy. I'm... We talk about scientific. Scientifically, okay. if it wears out, it wears out, right? It don't. It, it doesn't matter. What about the soul right? ties? That's what about the soul ties attached to it? We, get, all the, the, we get the soul ties. But what? How does that stretch out your vagina? I don't. I'm, I'm still it's, trying well, to figure well, out how. You only, how because you're looking at it now. Because you feel because you're looking at it. Nobody. But I'm saying we're going. I'm just saying vagina. we're diving. Tammy, we're just da- we're just diving deeper past the physical part of it. That's why. That's okay. all. We just we just, um, we just I'm like, the layers. I ain't never heard nobody soul ties stretch. Because out again, but you got to remember. But that's not what because, this little twenty year old son boy was talking about. You sit up here talking about yeah, like he yeah, knew the yeah. gospel and he that's yeah, what he was yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, you yeah, talking yeah, about. Y'all taking it to the. <laughs> yeah, all right. You're right. I'm, all right. Well, you I, know that, I'm I mean, just saying. That's, that's okay, but you know what I'm saying. That's what you're talking about. That ain't what that little boy was talking about. But okay. that's the whole point. Of, that's the whole point. Of that. Well, that's the whole point of this. this now, us come together. Point, everybody kind of like you know. He was making in the clip. Is all right, that... hey Denise, girl, we finna we finna ask you what your opinion is. I need another woman. No, I'm just like. <laughs> Hey, I was trying to hold on a second. I'm trying to get my headphones. Get your headphones together. Man, it's like it's warm in this garage, but I want to open the door, but I know it, it might be cooler outside. Well, it's 6 30. Hold on. It might be cooler. Okay. Yep, and anybody else in the back chat you want to bring over there, you already know me. They more than welcome. Okay. They're more than welcome. <laughs> I can't think about it. I was like, I can't find it on YouTube to see what y'all was actually talking about. I so. put a YouTube link in the back chat. I'm not, well, oh, I didn't see that when I saw just the stream yard. Okay. I'll, I'll put it back there again right now. Okay. But no, basically, the conversation is what I posted earlier, and you said no. Like, should the Bible still be used as a standard in for dating and gauging relationships in today's society and then i played a couple of i played that same lisa ray clip and uh and i played this fresh and fit clip right here i'm uh, I'm gonna put it back on again let me uh back it up and find out where it was let me get back to where i was at real quick uh 
because oh boy is just cold with it. <laughs> Let me see. It was the girl with the purple hair. I don't so. think he just cold with it. It's you could be cold with it, but you gotta be right. But you could be cold. you could be loud. Well, cold could be loud I don't mean wrong. cold with it like he was on point. I mean he was just like okay. cold, like oh that's cold. I'm just saying. I'm just saying you could be loud and wrong a lot. Let me see if this is where we're going. Uh, no, no, for real, because now niggas do nice things, things they friends clapping them, and they, they, they just they don't be wanting to do it because they, they feel like they're going to get played. When, when I feel like men are supposed to be men, and they're, and they're supposed, supposed to treat their women, they, 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 they have a part to play, it's in the bottom hole. Like, what's going on? Men want to be taken out and all this other stuff. Like, you a man. Like, be a man. Like, hold on, hold on. You want a man in the Bible, so that's a traditional man, correct? Yeah. But modern day women aren't traditional themselves. Why can't you be traditional? It's the generation that we have. Lisa, Mike, Timothy. It's the generation that we have. I feel like men stop valuing women and appreciating their women and making sure that their women is straight. Period. You hear you hear her talking about some the husband cheating on the wife and all this other stuff. And all right, go ahead. I'm gonna find the other part that goes with it, so I can talk about how you feel about that, Denise. Um, I could barely hear it was like echoing a lot. But I heard saying that basically uh it needs to be a level of respect and cherishing. But that's kind it, it kinda is, but it's kind of a new concept at the same time. Like although before they they respected they kinda respected the position, right? Even if they didn't respect the person. <laughs> So they oh my god, respect, that's that's they on respected point. the position that the person was in, meaning this is the wife. So you know, when she asks for things, she can get it. She come first. It's the family unit. You know, you do stuff for the unit type thing. But um, they didn't really respect her as a person, the person behind that um, title that they gave. You know what I'm saying? So they may cheat. They may do this. They may do that. In the same way, the wife kind of respected her duties, you know, as a wife. These are her duties, you know, and and sometimes dealing with them um, going outside of the marriage and stuff was part of that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's still the unit, you know, your unit was still good and she was still good. So it was kind of like something you took with it. You know, it's different now when you have somebody, okay, if I'm pulling in, you know, half the way I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing the other, and then you have the audacity to cheat. <laughs> it's like, excuse me? Right, no, you know, no. How can find yes, else? yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What do you mean? Yes, yes. Yes, I do that. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you. Hey, Denise, everybody in the chat. Like, I want to. If you pull in, I want to give a shout out to everybody in the chat real quick. I'm sorry, Tammy. Thank you, everybody that's in the chat. I appreciate you. If you want to come on the show, click on the uh, the stream yard. The link is right in the uh, is pinned in the comments. Yes, Chris. If you one of them fifty fifty dudes, and you 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 really had a nerve to cheat, if you don't knock it off. So it's also if he was like pulling it in, it's cool. Okay, from the cheat or what? What you saying? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's okay, but I would say it's something that that you can learn to deal with. It's, it's gonna be something. That, it's, it's gonna be something that, listen, it's gonna be something that that comes with it. When I was with with me and my child's father, who was like my husband, we were together. It would have been harder on me, and it didn't have been harder on me. To be a single mother than to be with him and have our household mm. and him step out every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Right, so it's, it's, no better, it's better to... you wasn't taken from the house to go do the shit. You know what I'm saying? I probably wouldn't even know it was being done. You feel me? But for me to be snooping and trying to do shit like that, it, it would have been too much. We had too much of a a good a good thing going. As far as so basically, kids, so basically house, a, so, better better to yeah. cry in the Mercedes Benz than a Honda Accord, right? I get it. I it. it ain't even a cry. <laughs> I mean, I'm, if doing I cry, like, I'm doing what I gotta cry. do. It's not even a cry. It's just you know you can respect no, me just, enough to not have it come to the cry house. Might respect be, me enough might to be. it not be in my face. Respect it enough to not just be so sloppy that you really just don't care about your family unit at all. I might not. So it's like a. So is that like a? Is that like a? 
Is that like an unwritten, almost like hall pass? Kind of like an unwritten. I mean, no. yeah, because just like I when they said, don't but here's the thing. But here's my thing. But here's my thing. Here's my thing. But here's 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 my thing though. Because like me, like I'm 36, and I can honestly, I honestly say this, like even at 36, I've never been involved with more than one woman intimately, like sexually. Like it's it's always been one at a time. So even I feel like even if I was in a situation like married, and even if my wife was like, yeah, it's cool. Not even not saying it per se. But, you know, like, okay, like you just said, if I had an understanding like you just said, say before me and my wife got married and I understood that she, like what you just said, all right, well, you handle all the business that just don't put it in my face. It's like, even if I was like, all right, well, as long as she don't see it, okay, I would still be like, feel like you should know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just slept. With, <laughs> I, I just slept with somebody. Like, I'm sorry. Like me, I wait. Just, she like, should know what. She should know what. You that slept I just with somebody. That I, I, that's me. That's me. Like I'd be like, hey, like I don't know if I would be able to and do are it. Are you okay with getting it back? What? What? <laughs> what? If she went, no, hold on. You talking about if she went in? Yeah. No, like, but she okay, said, so are you okay? With but, out, but again, she tells but, you she comes and says, hey, yeah, you know, I was out chilling today and ended up, you know, whoopie. But that's that's whoopie. a little different because you just said <laughs> the reason and why you would be okay with it is because what if I'm sustaining she things. Said she paying, 100%, paying all the bills, yeah. A hundred percent, right? Because you say okay, he's paying a hundred percent of the bills, and you should feel like it's okay or not as bad when you do it. But then if you go do it, it's like, well, why are you doing it? Because I well, yeah, just because okay, I'm yeah, doing it in that same in that same instance, yeah, yeah. But that's all I'm saying. That, like, I feel wait a minute. Like it's an unwritten thing. But women, to say it we would women, be disrespectful to say but you, it would be not respectful. But you just said no. But, but you're saying so. Wrong. Women but have you no kinda, no But you kind of okayed it. So when you said women, you didn't want. No, but what you're saying is women have no reason to cheat ever, and that's not true. No, no, no. I didn't, no, cheat no, I didn't say no. that. I, I get it. But you just said in an instance. Yeah, but if you tell me, and he's out. You know, working and, and doing everything. What if he's not giving you no D? What if the D is whack and it's weak oh and it's God. getting and it's starting to and it's starting to. But that's, but then that's, to well, that's not something. That's something what's you need. Word, does he know wait, that? What's the word? No, what's the word that dude use? What is it called? Like, um. It's giving? starting to depreciate. Know. It's starting oh. to depreciate. But here's the thing, though. But here's the thing. What but if the still, penis is starting to depreciate? Okay, do you mean like how you guys start to depreciate get, more when y'all go through menopause hard, and your style? It ain't your, as hard as it does anymore. But you just wait it a minute. But if you but hold on. Go. So so you so isn't that the same thing like when y'all go through menopause? Don't y'all start I mean, to kind of like y'all ain't y'all ain't having sex with menopause. Oh, but no, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Earlier you just Tim. Tim, but I don't know. Tim, as Tim is my witness before Denise just got on his what call, you earlier that? said that the, the, the coochie does not depreciate. Did you not say that? It does not. It does not. Yeah. But the dick does if it can't get hard, but George don't if it can't get wet no more. What? How, well, how does that? All, my, I mean, I don't know about, okay, well, I guess I'm 42. I'm 41. Hey, hey, hey. And hey, my, my JJ gets hey, the Isaiah. same as it was when it was 20. Okay. I was 21. What they yes, say baby. Is, is that Hey, it, I guess it goes both ways because you know, for men they got pills, and for women they got as Chris Rock say, "Lubro." Right, exactly. <laughs> so well, it, okay, you can well, get past point, that though, but you can this. get past okay, that. You point. can get past that. You can okay. get past that. My point nah. is this. My point is this. Y'all like y'all depreciate, and and maybe that's probably why some women cheat is because. Maybe because he ain't, you know, it ain't, it ain't thing that thing ain't thing in a way you thing. <laughs> but again, but you gotta understand though. But but as I said, there's things you can do to get past that. There are there are different practices, there are different herbs and stuff, and natural remedies a man can mm-hmm. go through. That's really, really, honestly, that's a health thing though. That depends on his health a lot of times. <laughs> like, there, there are so, men out so there. Messed there, up because we like, you know what? That's a health. Issues. I would. They would just. They would just talk. M- Miguel Nunez. M- Miguel Nunez. Or what was that dude name? Oh, I love that played, him. I love him. That played Joanna um, Man. That played Joanna Man. I love him. I love him. The they said he I said he. Him. They just showed this little reel, and he revealed how old he was. He said, "Yeah, he's like 58, he's like, 60 years old." Yes, and he said he was yes. like, "He's like everything with me still worked just fine because he you said I he take care of myself." You know, he met my mom and he pretended like he was gonna grab her boobs. <laughs> 
Hey, I was cute. If I was your boss, it still work. I mean, but he, the thing is, like if they ain't banging, thing. I don't know if they gonna be cheating <laughs> if it ain't banging at home. If that thing ain't banging at home, <laughs> yeah, I think they gonna be cheating. So. I mean, well, no, but I'm talking about no, I'm talking about the girl. No, I'm talking about the woman. No, I'm because uh, I'm girl. saying sometimes it's a give or take thing. Like you gotta, you gotta, you know, sacrifice some things to get other things. It depends on what is important to you. And okay. to me, if if we building and our house is running smoothly, and I everything feel it. Else, a little tail over there that you did that one night and came oh, home and okay. whatever the fuck. Is not going to break not, all of the okay, shit that we do. It's a, a much no, no now, 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 Denise, what if he offsets the the pH balance in the swimming pool now? Ooh, well, no, I'm gonna kill his ass. That's not respecting my position because he should have had a condom on. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank, oh you. my god, thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, Denise, if you were in this, um, if I if I, if I could see you right now, I'll give you a high five. You're right because he's not respecting exactly. Like, how you gonna throw my shit off, yo? <laughs> like, I well, mean, that, but that, oh, that, and that's, a, and home. that's what I'll be you're saying. You're not bringing none of this shit home. You're not bringing home yeah. kids. You're not bringing home diseases. No, you're, you're taking. To, you know, yeah. you still got to you, know, you, you heard her Regardless say they're not bringing that. home kids, but she'll bring home a baby and swear that is his though. Like, yeah, I'm pregnant. <laughs> That's I'm disrespectful. That's disrespecting your home. <laughs> hey, so y'all gonna do? Okay, let me ask y'all this question then. That if y'all gonna do all that, catching that baby like you we didn't. I didn't say I would be okay with any of that, but I'm I'm understanding where she's coming from. I, I ain't never, I ain't never put up with none of that. So now, I'm gonna clip. I'm gonna clip this part, and I'm gonna hope it go viral. <laughs> of women justifying cheating. I'm just saying, no, whatever. I'm just saying, I've never, I've never put up with it before, but I'm just it's saying just I understand where she's coming from. Yeah, because some men hear about women who are like who stayed in relationships, or even in the past, that have stayed in a relationship where a man was found to have did this or did that, and it's like, well, she didn't leave, but you left, you know, um, Jamie mm-hmm. over there for, for, for cheating, but Jamie mm-hmm. wasn't doing everything that Timothy was doing for her when she decided that it was better for her to stay than leave. With mm-hmm. you, it's like, this is the last straw type thing when you're ready to up and leave somebody for that. It's, it, it was more going on. You know what I'm saying? That's the last straw, but a lot of people put that emphasis on just sex. I don't, I don't think that, you know, because he you know, fell into some pussy that night over there is go is really worth giving up all of the stuff we done built. Cause if I'm with you, we build it. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. We're gonna have businesses, we're gonna have money, we got a bank account, we got house, we got goals, we reaching them. That little shit is not gonna offset and tear down everything we have built. Hmm. What if uh okay so why why if you don't do all that and not be cool, why not just bring her on like full time? You know what I'm saying? No, Add some more income. More, no, I'm going to be more going on. I mean, that's not really my. <laughs> <laughs> that's not really my 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 get down. Okay. But... Now to the point of the show. So how much? So how much you got to hold on? Right, wait. So saying, y'all are talking about non-traditional things, which is we are talking about. Right, right. Things. We got to go back, bring it back. No, 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 the, no, no. That's that's uh no. That's gonna be the, his rebuttal. Let me uh bring it up. You guys mentioned a bunch of traits that traditional men exhibit. Modern day women are not traditional. Are any of you guys virgins? No. Uh, exactly. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. No, 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 no. Because if we're going to put the standard on men that you want them to pay bills and be masculine and protect you, whatever, let's go all the way. Can you, cook? you guys can't. You Can guys you cook? cannot expect Clean. a traditional man while you absolve yourself of traditional feminine responsibilities because that's a bad deal for the man. Yeah, absolutely. So none of you are virgins. Okay. Uh, how many of you are good cooks and have a recipe book or whatever it may be? Recipe book? See, no, I, 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 feel, I, feel, I feel like it's different now. Well, the, wife, the, wife does, yeah, the wife does. Sorry, so, I feel like that used March, to play well, a part. Let me, let, me, let me continue. Let me continue. Because if we're going to have, like I said, if we're going to have, and you'll be able to rebut this, but the point I'm trying to make is, is that women cannot hold men to traditional standards, not be traditional themselves, and then expect a man to pay full price for a depreciating asset. I'm going to say that again. You cannot be non-traditional women and want the man to be traditional on his side and pay full price for a depreciating asset that isn't traditional on his end. How y'all feel about that? Bang, that, 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 that. 
I think it's absolutely true. So Tammy said, well, Tammy said, of course, y'all yeah, don't appreciate, so. I mean, no. It doesn't, I said, but it's not about all, the depreciation. I said, no, I said you guys depreciate as well. No, I don't like the way he worded that. I don't like okay. the way he talking about <laughs> women depreciate. I'm like, nigga, y'all depreciate too. Your, your, your penises don't get as hard as they supposed to. The, a, a lot of stuff happened to me. Looks fade, your health fade. Yeah, looks your, fade, yeah, your health um, fade, all kind of stuff. But see, that's like, everybody, and see, that's, that's every a, right. That's, that's a natural occurrence. Right, right. You know, but that's the but point. Our, that's the point. Works just fine. But, but I don't, so, I don't um, necessarily but think as far that as the, 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 the poom poom was the asset he was talking about that depreciated. But the, but the traditional part in there. Also, I mean, they take away the fact that men had to pay for that as well. But then that fool said, no, no, but then that fool said, y'all won't, okay, no, that fool said, what I can't understand is he said, okay, y'all want traditional men, y'all want a man that's masculine. So being traditional means being masculine, so is that hard to be masculine, my nigga? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was saying, he was saying that men want women say that they want the traditional man that's going to provide protect and be masculine he was just naming off traits like like they were saying and then he says well what do the men get in return are we getting feminine women are we getting submissive women are we xyz cooks and all of that no so but i think if, that if, standard, I if, I think like that. if a traditional biblical standard of of what a man is supposed to be is going to be applied to men. I don't think anybody he's saying really that well, it should be fair for men to apply the same biblical standard. And, on and that's the thing, Tim. I don't think anybody wants that traditional biblical person in that sense. I don't think any of us want that. Really. But what I'm Not saying is that real. in the Bible, when they was marrying them virgins, they were paying them like thousands, ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars. Cows, just been cows, goats, right. land. So they was and they was paying them, and they was yeah, they was paying them, and they was and they were getting vetted. They were getting vetted and everything by the wait, father. Tim, by the Tim. Tim. And see, that's the thing, and that's a whole, and that's it a whole other thing that, too. Wait, but Tim, on. but Tim, they was laying like starfish too. They didn't do nothing. They were laying like starfish. They wasn't doing nothing. The virgins were laying like starfish. You could think they wasn't doing nothing. He yeah. Hell, what did you do? What did yeah, you they do as a virgin? They I didn't know nothing. what the hell I was maybe doing not, as a Maybe not that first night when she thought he was musty and he stank, but you know, over exactly. time. Exactly. Exactly. Over time, she was doing nothing. Nothing. She she nothing. Nothing. Exactly. Come on. Come on. Man, what not, what? Hey, she look, y'all right. right. oh, 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 see, y'all telling she me that y'all telling me that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. on. So y'all trying to tell me that <laughs> the way y'all get down now is the same for me as a virgin, or y'all have y'all learned something and got a little better over time with some practice? Yes, but y'all called us, but he said no, but he said we depreciate it though. So. Here, damn, here, damn, here, damn. She triggered by that. But what a, but what a, that's that person, no, person who came damn. in, salute the oh, person, you got Percy. something to say, Hi, person. Percy. Hello, Percy. Yo, wait, real, real, uh, okay, sorry, Percy, real quick. But he a yep. damn lot because I got better as the years went on. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> All right. But that's, that's the point. You got better. <laughs> You wasn't but always said, a starfish. That, you that, wasn't always a starfish. Fool, but but go ahead, Percy. Said, right, but that fool said we depreciate it. But anyway, go ahead, Percy. Nah, I got I gotta catch up. So y'all y'all can't uh keep on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, and so Neo was in the chat earlier and he made oh, the um, Neo, not Neo, that Neo, Neo, not the Neo we think the, the cheating Neo, not the singer. No, no, <laughs> oh. uh, no. I don't know the fuck he the in, this in the Bible. In the Bible, <laughs> when a man divorced his wife, unless she was cheating, he divorced her. If a man divorced his wife, he couldn't get married again. <laughs> y'all don't want oh, that either. Oh damn, y'all don't want nothing that, that either. That, there you go. See, Where say that at? Where say that at? I gotta, I gotta look at Wait. that one. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look at that one. You know, I gotta look at that one. As far as that, but they said as many women as you lay down with, that's your wife, right? Again, it depends. Like. They were vetted by were, her. Were you a virgin? Her father. Were you a virgin? Were you no, 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 no. Hey, I'm not talking about when you're a virgin. I'm talking about Tamar sold it for some goats. 
Sold no, she no, she did it for a what? Uh, yeah. a, a staff and some some bracelets. Oh, that, was, that was the collateral. No, she was a widow. Man. That was the collateral. Okay, y'all, no, it was for a goat. Okay, for okay a goat. y'all tripping. No, I'm for saying a goat. man. No, I'm saying he man. wasn't, but he wasn't gonna bury his sons, his sons, uh, his dead sons. Freaking he, no, uh, he was a, what, what? He was supposed to give her to his to his to his other son. Yeah, his other Ooh, his brother is supposed to marry her. Oh, Tamar, y'all talking about in the when Bible. They, in, the, in the Bible, yeah, but in the Bible, that's yeah, why. Yeah, y'all need to just go on and put that. Um, y'all need to go and put that down because you're guaranteed a husband. You're guaranteed a husband and a a family unit, though. The woman was the woman. Yeah, was like somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You were guaranteed. Exactly. You were guaranteed a roof, some shelter, some food, all that stuff. Like. Some but good again, dick? No, uh, were we guaranteed it, good dick too? It look, understand what? <laughs> are are you guaranteeing? Are you guaranteeing some good? You know what? Too like what? Like I mean, come on. Are we? <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's subjective. Absolutely. And that and that's subjective. That's subjective because you might feel like that. But what if he don't feel I, like that? Well, I don't know. I never had no complaints. But well, I was virgin. Well, they was. The girls were. <laughs> Well, I mean, virgin for JJ is not always the best for JJ. I've heard guys that say they don't like virgin for JJ because it's too tight. Well, I mean, if it's only, well, you, well, here's the thing though. But if you was married to virgin, I mean, it's gonna lose. I mean, you gonna keep hitting it, and it ain't gonna always be that tight. So, I mean, unless you're just trying to hit it once, like it's not gonna, it's not gonna stretch. No, some people don't stretch out like that. Well, well that's I don't know, my bro. point. That's it true. doesn't stretch out. Some people don't stretch out like every that. Single time. But they mm-hmm. got spacers for that. They got spacers for that and things oh, like that. They got that. spacers. spacers? Oh, yeah. We gotta we gotta have this conversation. <laughs> I've never had a spacer. A spacer? Yeah. What does a spacer do? So you can space open the vagina if a it's spacer. too small. It so that if it's too yeah, small. It opens it a little bit. So it's it's like um you put it in there. And it's like usually about ten or fifteen minutes, like before you're about to do it, you can put a spacer in there, and it'll help. So it like a like much, a, okay uh, when it goes in, like a like a butt ring, like a little. So it's kind of like what they're gonna try to do with plug, the like a, thing, like a butt yeah, plug, butt yeah, like a butt plug, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, oh, no. butt was plug. not this way from the beginning. Look at butt plug. <laughs> Tells that butt plug. That's me. I don't have any at all. I'm just looking at the comments right now. What are the comments are saying? Are they think they think they think we're crazy? Come up here, Neo. Yeah, I'm trying to. It says nerdy, nerdy brew. I don't know who nerdy brew is. I don't know if that's. That's RJ. Okay, and then the Sand Pit Records. I don't know who that is. Sand Pit Records is Neo. Sand Pit Records is Neo. Uh Well, well, click the link, Neo. It's in the back chat. Come on up, like, brother. That's RJ. That's Neo and then Tiffany. Come on, Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Tell us all, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got to put your hand in the camera. Hold on, hold right. on. <laughs> Where's Isaiah? Oh, he left yeah. us. Oh. Isaiah, he either got a car or he got scared. Yeah. He ain't get scared. Isaiah yeah. don't get scared. But I really don't think. Could you imagine somebody who was there? Like, he is uh-huh, Neo Lord. You know, somebody who was like that I mean, in today's society. Everybody, I mean, let's walk in Neo Love. Right. Hi, Neo. Hi. How y'all doing? Good. When I first heard your name, I was like, "That I was like, is that the Neo, the cheating one?" Yeah, I heard <laughs> that part. I'm like, damn, who did I cheat on? <laughs> hey, Tiff. <laughs> Tiffany is in the in the comments too. Hey, Tiff. Oh. Hi, Tiff. Hey. Uh, no, 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 this Neo never cheats. This, this one don't. Okay, that's huh? good. I don't know how much of the show you didn't see, but we didn't kind of took the. I'm trying to keep it real, then real, then. Hey, blessed B11 in the comments. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I don't. Uh, the, the 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 topic is kind of like. It's, it was meant to be on should the standards of the Bible still apply to today when the traditions of the Bible is not the same society we live in now, like how women used to be virgins and you had to pay a dowry and all of that. But there's a women expect men to uphold a certain standard when they when they don't 
fit the standard themselves of the traditional woman of the Bible, but they want men to fit the traditional standard of the Bible. Right. I, I, I've been watching for a little while and I think, you know, to answer that question, I think the Bible standards are absolutely foolproof and proven, fail proof and proven. You know, the problem is not the Bible standards. The problem is our current society. The current society has made it to where it's damn near impossible to follow those traditions of the Bible. But the Bible wasn't, you know, a lot of people look at it like it's just totally misogynistic and it's it's for the man and the woman gets nothing. But like I was telling Denise earlier, you know, it's a lot of stuff you say about the man that hold a man accountable, you know, as far as, you know, he can't just go and, and put down a wife once you divorce a wife, once you marry a wife, the two become one flesh and you y'all are, you know, bonded for life. Even in the case of the of the people who got another wife, a second wife or something, that was either a second wife or a wife after his first wife died. But when it came to divorcing, once you divorce that woman and you marry another woman, you're committing adultery. You okay, well, I, I'm kind of concerned about the archaic type of um, traditions like, oh, you can beat your wife stuff like that i don't care what you're doing for me you ain't gonna beat me right so those are the issues i'm kind of more concerned about like no we should not because modern solutions modern problems like i said require modern solutions so therefore you can't you know you're not gonna be beating on this woman even if she I don't care if I cheat on you. That gives you the right to beat on me. That's what the that's what the Bible says. You could beat your wife, right? Mm, I'm not really sure on that one. I really In the don't. Old Testament, I believe it is. It says that. I ain't never heard that one. Yeah. That you I could beat her too. with something like. Remember? Okay, I got it. Okay, I don't know. I gotta ask my mom because I'm not. I'm. I can't. I'm not a real Bible connoisseur, so I gotta right. ask. Right, it was probably dealing with Leviticus and the laws. I'm pretty sure that's where it came from. Mm. Because the laws was dealing with society, and it was mm. a lot of stuff that it talked about. You know, like the Bible gave, uh, you know, Leviticus gave situations on what to do if if a person was found that was raped, mm -hmm. and you know, it, it it offends a lot of people today. And I get it. You know, like it, it's a different time and everything. We don't understand that, but mm -hmm. the Bible wasn't saying it's okay to rape people and that's how people took it just because it gave like you know laws and consequences and and, and what to do in this situation it doesn't mm. mean that it's okay to go rape people and and it may have given you know like consequences and, and situations and stipulations on you know men who discipline in their wives or whatever but i don't think it actually said you should beat your wife, you know. You told okay. Harper, beat me type stuff. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think it said it. But when I <laughs> when I talk about when when I deal with the relationship standards, I'm not thinking about the beating part. I'm thinking about the the plethora of other stuff that, that went along with it. The father uh, having to give his permission for you to date his daughter and stuff like that. Right now, we are out of sync with that. You know, women and men going around giving themselves to each other irresponsibly and if your okay. parents and, had to choose your mate nine times out of ten they're gonna choose somebody that's gonna be a lot more responsible than we would have picked when we was teenagers well know? i'm so, sorry i'm not letting my parents choose my mate so no sir no sir so so neo yeah, so, was, <laughs> <gonna get upset. laughs> yeah no sir no sir you were saying it was infallible so what you so the part that says if your wife cheats on you, you have the right to go out and stone her in the middle of the road in the in, in the public. That's infallible. No, that's what. Well, he just he just um explained that. We just talked about that because I said the same thing. You could beat your right. wife. That's what I was talking about. Right, like and, even the stuff like that. What it was trying to do, it was trying to have, it was trying to avoid all of the problems that we have today. Yes, it, it may seem harsh and everything like that. I get. I get that part. I, I know what you're saying, but it's still 
proven to have relationships that lasted longer back then than they do right now. We can criticize, okay. we can criticize the Bible all we want, but right now we have an epidemic of, of goddamn baby daddies, 30 baby daddies for, to one woman, one man got eight baby mamas, nobody like each other, nobody, they hate each other, they working against each other, relationships are not lasting. And we're here talking about this because there is a problem in our community when it comes to relationships today all those people that was on the show they're on that show because it's a problem with but, society's current oh, situation oh, oh, when it comes oh, to dating okay but well, does that know, not they just came out with a study that it was 70 percent. it was back up to 70 percent of households where children are being raised with both their parents that's no. oh wow but does that that's, not that's prove but, um, what i'm saying but what i'm saying is does that not prove that just because okay the bible said this this and that but guess what a lot of people we're agreeing with no you shouldn't beat the crap out of your wife no you shouldn't do this no you shouldn't right. do that so doesn't that kind of prove like but, sometimes but you, have, you to have to adjust understand. you have to adjust certain things you know what i'm saying well no because back then i think it was like that because of the way their justice was they didn't have court and they didn't but have, our like, just okay but our the, uh, so different. it's like you have so to you have at, to adjust you have to adjust yeah, yeah right? but but that but the consequence has nothing to do with the actual courting and dating system that they had right this just the who the even know, I don't even think them and so in, what I was about to say what I was about to say to Neo was that we don't the thing is in today's society no that system would it worked well in that society because in that society they were all together it was like I don't even thing. think they courted and dated I don't even think court, they courted and dated I think it was more like like I was watching the Golden Girls okay they were seeing Golden each other Girl. from girl yes okay and that was in the 80s right and they was old in the 80s and i would they were they let me tell you something they went she went on like five dates with a man and that was that was their courtship okay and and that fool asked her to marry him so it's not the same so according to dating is not the same as back then as it was TV, now you think a tv show is a fair use of an example a little bit a little bit because you know why a little and i'm gonna say a little bit and i'm gonna say a little bit only because even with our parents ask your mama or your dad or whoever the oldest couple in your family is how long they courted and dated they're gonna tell you oh we married we met each other and they they might have met each other when they was kids or whatever but the, the their courtship probably was three weeks until they decided they wanted to be married uh I found a clip of what Neo was talking about. Uh, hey, a this funny. Hey, baby daddy. You say what? This is uh the problem this Neo is talking about. All these baby daddies and all that stuff. Santa, how many children? 28. How many women? 16. Terrence? Four. 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 Children. With? Two different women. Yeah. Ryan? Mm-hmm. Uh, almost five children with four. Almost five. Yes, I now have talk another. to me about an almost five. <laughs> I have another baby due November 22nd. So four children. Four children. How many mothers? Four different women. Four different women. Yes. And you got a baby on the way. Okay. Huh. And John? Uh, six baby mothers, 11 children. 11 children. And Jumani? I have six children with four different women. Four different women. Yes, now here's what I want us to get. Man. Right. That right. just honestly to me, I mean, I feel like that sounds like a y'all problem. Why y'all trying oh, to just what? knock up everybody? <laughs> that sounds like a, a black a, a man no, problem. Not, not at all. Not at all. That was just that show. I mean, if you turn it around and do a, a show for women, it'll be worse. It'll mm. be way worse. No, it wouldn't because I don't know too many people that have more than. Okay, I'm I'm gonna be quite honest with you. Yeah, I don't know yeah, too I don't many think people it would that be have. Worse for women. No, I don't think it would be worse for women. I don't know too many people that have more than two baby daddies. That's you. And that's I'm not saying, and I'm not saying that's a good thing, but I'm just saying. 
Mm. I'm just saying it's kind of hard for a woman to have. You don't see like a lot of women having six kids and then with a whole six bunch baby of them, six with kids six, six baby, baby daddies. daddies. But you might see four women with two kids and two baby daddies, which is you still might. a lot, but you're not going to have the one baby daddy that got five women and a bunch of different babies in between Ooh, them and another right. baby daddy. And then they all right. the same age and they all in the same. Right. Know, ghetto, ghetto twins. Crazy. They call the same age. That's, that's what you call the ghetto twins. But that that's not even like a norm for men. He they was taking the worst case scenarios, and even in those, the average was like four kids on that stage. It wasn't that's like, still, okay, but that's a it lot. Wasn't like, it wasn't like it, it is a lot, but it's not eight and ten. Like that's not a norm for men either. You know, mm-hmm. it, it, four is about the norm for everybody. Four people, four kids for men. Four, four kids, kids for is a norm for everybody. Oh, oh. Right. All right, that's what I'm saying. But four? Uh, Wait, I would say, <laughs> she said four. I would say like the most. When I say the norm, like the I mean norm. like the max. Like I'm oh, like saying. the max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might yeah. be around the max. Oh, medium. Yeah, medium. like mm-hmm. like it's rare when they go over four kids on either side. Mm-hmm. You being, you know. I'm just saying, and I'm not trying to say black men. That's the problem with black men, but I'm just saying. It's more men that had that issue than women, like we said. Like I, most of me, I know most of the women I know, they got maybe two baby daddies at the most. I right, think it's you just you because it's the what problem. they. I think it's just the. I mean, because they can, right? So the mm-hmm. issue is not only the the women, not just the men, mm-hmm. but the women mm-hmm. too, because they can. Right, which will be a society issue, kind of, but. Mm-hmm. So let, let me ask the young lady, uh, Tammy, do you see a problem with the current state of dating today? Absolutely. Oh, ab- oh absolutely. <laughs> what are the problems with them? What are the problems with dating? Well, my dating yeah. situation is a little different, mm. but uh, it is. It is. It's very different. But... um. I'm gonna say I don't know. No, 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 no. I I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just kidding. I know, no, because I see people making their little come. Mm, eh, mm. mm. No, my little. Now we believe you. We believe you. We, we got Percy. We got Percy. We don't try believe you. We need more soon. people. We need more okay. people. We. I need more people. <laughs> we don't believe you, Tammy. We don't believe what? you. We need more I people. Care. I don't care. You don't have to. I just, I'm, um, I'm, I'm just talking with you. It's a rap line. Okay, yeah. it's okay. It's okay. But uh, yes, there is a, a situation. There, there's a situation, and I feel the situation is. I don't know. I just think. You know, I really don't know. I think that women have women have their issues, but men have their issues too. And it's not just the men, but it's the women too. So I'm not even gonna say it's y'all, just y'all. Okay, well, that because most of the problems with dating today would have been resolved if people were still following traditional standards when it comes to dating. Most of the problems that we face in dating today it's caused by this current generation, this current way of but I, But I think that, okay, but I also feel like change, right? Change is inevitable. It's inevitable. So when when things become, when times change, things change. And like people have to change with, with the times. So you can't date the same as you dated in 1952. Because in 1952, a man making fifty thousand dollars a year and doing this, this, and that, I could stay at home. We could have a house. We could do this. We could do that. You know what I'm saying? That's not that's not true. This at this time and age. So change is inevitable. You see what I'm saying? You have to change. You have to change with the times. I can agree. I, I do so, oh, I can't hear him now. Is he talking? No, you talking, right. Coach? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I was talking. I, I was saying that uh, when it comes to like using the Bible as a thing for dating, I don't think that that can really be done in the way it was. I can't. I can't hear you. You were far away.
All right, y'all can hear me now? I yep. can. Yes. yes. You can? Yes. All right, so we can hear you better. The, thing about, the thing about the Bible age and stuff like that is I think there's a difference between the, the, the moral standards, the cultural standards, and different legal things, right? And uh, mm -hmm. there are a few different things to keep in mind. One of those things to keep in mind was that in those days and age, oftentimes a woman would go from the authority of her father into her husband, but it would mm -hmm. be authority that came along with a financial responsibility. But also a woman didn't really have a choice of who she was actually attracted to. Like when you look mm -hmm. at the Bible, uh, sexual attraction wasn't something that was even included in a woman's mindset or, or in the, the thought process. So it really, a lot of it was like a culturated prostitution, right? And uh, that, I mean, that's the fact of it, right? And you also have to think mm -hmm. about it like this. Uh, a woman who wasn't a virgin in the Bible wasn't really qualified to be a wife unless mm -hmm. her husband died. Like if you look at some people will well, say that's that. Not really, well, that's not really true because we, we already went over that. We went over the fact that if you take a woman as your, if you slept with a woman, that was your wife. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, that's the point I'm getting to, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing was this. Like when you took, hear like what Jesus said and all the time Jesus would speak in parables and hyperbole in order to bring a greater level of condemnation so people knew that they couldn't reach the full standard of the law. Like Paul said, that the law mm -hmm. came not so that sin would stop, but so that sin would abound, so that every mouth would be shut. And it's one of those things where Jesus would say, you know, the whole remarriage thing wasn't real. It's like the whole mm -hmm. idea of, of the first man that a woman late. See, I don't believe that sex itself 100% equals marriage, because if that's the case, then any woman who's had sex with a man and that man she had sex with the first time isn't dead. Every man she has sex with afterwards is adultery. Mm -hmm. Technically. That, that's if people uh, want to go super literal. Alicia, okay. where did Alicia go? I saw Alicia. I was just getting ready to I acknowledge know, where did Alicia go? Her. Well, just getting I ready like to her. acknowledge her. Well, no, that was Denise that was Plus, And I think if we look oh, at like Deuteronomy Denise? 22. Okay. Like if we were to look at like Deuteronomy 22 about what a man would have to do. Like if a man were to seduce a woman, the next thing he would have to do is he would have to go to her father. And if the father liked him or didn't like him, either way, he would have to pay the virgin price because there was an extra price that the father would get based off of the woman's virginity than the bride price, right? So if he paid mm -hmm. the bride price and the, and the father didn't like him and didn't want him to be her husband, her uh, daughter's husband, his daughter's husband, then he could reject the man. He just had to pay the virgin price. So a lot of what's going on now is like a matter of, well, there is no dowry, nine out of 10. There is no bride price. There is no virginity. So it's really mm -hmm. more so a matter of, a woman has her own money. She's not in her father's house. So the qualifications mm -hmm. of a lot of the biblical laws around sexuality don't apply to this cultural day and age unless you want to be super literal. And if you're super literal, then uh, then every woman who's not a virgin isn't qualified to be a wife. She's only maybe qualified to be a concubine. Well, no. Exactly. We are well, qualified to be a wife if some man mess with us because we his wife. Well, you gotta understand too. We're not living in them times, like he just said. So hey, there's like exactly. a there's a room. Point. There's gonna be room. There's gonna be a little room for like a, some margin of error because again, like he said, we're not in our own land. We're not ruling. So there are a lot of things that that might have been okay then, but within American standards and laws, it's not okay. But like I he agree. said, you, I agree. And like, I but like he said, you, you yeah. I, then that's why yeah, we like said earlier, virgin. huh? Like I don't even look. I'm not looking for no virgin. Right, issues like, that could come with that. Right, it, I, I actually, I have, I dated a virgin not too long ago, actually, and like, I, I it was cool. Like, it wasn't a bad experience or anything, you know. But I kind of felt like, in her mind, that she felt be like pretty boring. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Well, no, well, no, not really. It wasn't. It wasn't boring. She was a really cool person. Like, she was like education mm -hmm. in school, master's program, had a lot going for mm -hmm. herself. So, not having sex with her was cool for me. Like I said, that's cool. You know, it's just I kind of felt like. She kind of put all her eggs in the basket with the virginity thing, but it's like, but that doesn't imply you can be a good mother. I don't even know if you're you can be a good mother, a wife, friend, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. being a virgin doesn't imply other things. And that's great mm -hmm. though. Don't get me wrong. It's it's great. Like we don't have to have sex. Like I told her, like we don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Like that's because I I be feeling like if we have sex, and you're a virgin. Consider the fact that. You're you're a rarity now. I I I, sh I should be thinking I should wife you. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my mindset. Like I don't want it just to be like we're dating. I take your virginity and then re you know, and I'd be like, oh no, nah, you know. Like I'm thinking more. What like, if you like? What if you like end up? Hey, hang on, hang on, real quick. I'm not to cut you off, Cam. Not to cut you off, Cam. Hang on. I just want to acknowledge. Hang on. 
let's welcome Val, welcome Denise back, and welcome Alicia. Hi, welcome. Val. Hey, hey. Hey, welcome. hey, Alicia. Yo, what up? What up? Who, who's this? Okay, all right, all right, yeah, all right. But no, nah, but like I was saying, like I don't really, you know. Like I, I was looking at like we don't need that. What if you? I, what if you get no? What if you have sex with this virgin and she you fall right on it and you be like, oh damn. Then what? you know, there's there's well then that, like, well, the like I said is, at that point, at that point, like I said, if 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 it get to that point, then again, that's what I'm saying. She a virgin. I have to keep that in mind that she is a virgin. You see what I'm saying? And she was a little no bit matter like if she's a virgin or not. If her but her being a virgin or not, puss, I don't even if her understand. Puss is, is loose. The whole but you just said, you just said you else. but she like just you said the mother thing and all of that. What if her she could not be a virgin and still don't know if she's a mother? But I, mother but but you but what did I say? But what did I say before that? I said I felt like she was trying trying to imply that because she was a virgin right. that, that that was like is, the end all be it. That's why I said that. Right. I didn't say like. I'm just saying because she oh, was trying yeah, to make like, it. So it's like oh. that's the big thing right now. So. Right, and, and it kind of, mm. and when you kind of think about it, I she kind of has a a right to feel that way, but at the same time, like I said, don't. She got no right. I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna look at it like I'm gonna just look at it like okay, well, what else? You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you could be a virgin, but you could be a dummy too. You know what I'm saying? Like that don't mean Agreed. nothing. Like, Agreed. you could be, you a, could be a you could be a virgin. You could, you could be a virgin and still be sneaky or whatever. You could still be a virgin and do. That's why I was saying, like, you okay, a you're a virgin. That's not cool. Be good and not be a I just, good, um, it's a good way to kind of, it's for me at least. For somebody like me, it it it, it grabbed my and it caught my it kept my attention for a little. You know what I'm saying? All right, like that. Okay, I can see. You know because, but you know some, it but it kind it got kind of awkward because one night, like she started getting real sexual with me, but we didn't do it. But I'm kind of like, it made me feel weird because I'm like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, well, right, right. I'm trying to like, I'm like, that's what you, you know said. No, you know what's funny? I had a guy friend who um dated a virgin. She was 26 years old. And I didn't and think she was she like 27. Oh, girl. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think yeah. she and, and And they were like, no, and that's the thing. Like, she yeah. should do stuff, but just not go all the way. And that's the thing. Well, and that's the, and that's my thing, though, too. Remember Hold on. Your, Remember yeah, back yeah, when yeah. you was a virgin, you still wanted to do sexual stuff with people, just not have sex. That's true. That's true. Alicia, Alicia, and Val, y'all got anything to chime in? I'm just kind of stepping in and out. I didn't quite hear the initial, you know, um, topic. So you know, I'm, I'm just listening. I'm just listening to that. So we gonna go back to the original topic, yo. So they. No, well, oh. I'm trying to figure out how we got on the virgin stuff. I I I don't know. Girl, I just heard just talking about I'm cooking. Well, talking about well, we're just talking about like no, we got on the virgin stuff because we're talking about like biblical, like dating and stuff like that. So that's they, the they didn't even date in the Bible time. They didn't even date back then. Ivy in the comments. Hey, honey, Clark. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't. They didn't date. I don't think they dated. They did. I don't think they, they dated. I think they met each other and then went and got married. They was. No, I mean, they, they had. I, you had different. I, mean, I, I thought the families. families. I thought the parents <laughs> set that up. I didn't think they no, actually. And they they the family. They were talking about me. They were, but they, but they're I different. The episode. No, they was talking about me when I said I talk. I watched the episode of the Golden Girls. And um, that's how they that's how they did it. They was like dating somebody for three weeks, and they was like, oh, "Okay, yeah, we're supposed to married. get married." Yeah. Oh no! But that oh, wasn't that's, always that's the case. Scary. But that wasn't always the case. So, in the Bible, that wasn't always the case that you marry somebody that was betrothed to you or somebody that your parents chose. That wasn't always the case. It was typically done like that, but that that wasn't always the case. Like, was, well, there was, technically, that's the that was the norm. It yeah. was, it was, it was. Yeah, but for some people, like like Jacob, yeah. So yeah, like Jacob, he didn't have an arranged marriage with you know where there wasn't a race thing, but that's a whole other thing. But there's different circumstances that that could happen to her. That it's not always the case, but it was typically how things were done. I, I'd say that the, the one of the best things to do, really, is, is is for me personally. I look at it from a standpoint of you have to actually be fit for compatibility, right? Right. Because. In, in this day and age, it, it's not one of those things where you just go off the compared to value. Because one, there, even if a woman said she was a virgin, 
uh, uh, women are a lot more active now, right? So she could have just been playing soccer and broke her own hymen, or she could have had a sex toy, broke her own hymen. So there, there is no proof of it. Back in the day, if you didn't have proof of virginity upon the wedding night, the consummation of that marriage, the woman would be stoned to death. Yeah. And there's no. You there's got women. No, I, like, I was told, like, yeah, like you said, some women, like. Accidentally, like you know, you can know. use a tampon and break your hymen. Come on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. I was like, using tampons when I was fourteen. I don't know why. Why? What you mean you don't know why, bitch? Because I've been like blood leaking all over my panties. Girl, I'm gonna bust my hymen with no damn tampon if I wasn't fucking Girl, already. Bye. Bye. Hey, 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 no, I think, no. I think another thing. That's, I think another thing to talk about too is this: the social contract around sex is dead, and I think that's a very important thing. And I think right now, a big part of the issue with modern dating is that men are acclimating in being in a society where women have to actually be sexually attracted to you to want to have sex with you. Either that, or you have to be a trick. It's one of the two. And I okay, think that Amari, uh, so men, that's men are acclimating. Amari, to what we were talking Ooh. about before. So, do you think that is? Do you think that is? Wait, 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 wait. I like what he just said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, but, but that goes with, that goes back to the point. Do you, so, Brody, do you think that is background is that for women to hold men to a traditional standard? Let me go inside. And then so not reciprocate the same standard that they from that era. I don't think it's, it's for men to really care what women have to say. It's like you you say what you want to do, and if she don't want to do that, you tell her to kick rocks or open toe shoes. Right. <laughs> open toe shoes. Yeah, with some Jesus sandals on. Fucking <laughs> oh, barefoot. Not the, not the Jesus sandals. <laughs> tell her to kick kick well, rocks with some Sparta all, sandals and, on. And, and, and then we tell him kick them bare right? feet. What's that? And we tell him the same thing, right? Yeah. Well, that's why y'all gotta have to be on the same page. That's where communication comes in at. <laughs> no, but, hey. but I will say this right here, too. I, we're, I think uh, in this day and age, women also have to acclimate to the fact of what I call overstimulation, which is where when you have more experience before you meet the person who you're going to build your life with, if all your sexual experiences or your primary sexual experiences before you met your partner are so much better than them, it's going to be difficult for you to value and respect them the same way. And wait, 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 that's, wait, say that again. Wait, wait, that, say that again. I'm sorry, say it one more time. Once you've been exposed to great sex, having mediocre sex, no matter how good the person is to you, it's going to be difficult to respect them. Right. Well, you won't be thinking I mean, about. No, I can respect anybody, but I'm saying, well, we like great sex too. It's not just about men, so we like. But great again, sex. no, but he did, he did. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm talking about the woman. I'm talking about like for the women, it's difficult when you overstimulate it. Like, let's say there's, a, I call it the gentleman gigolo complex, right? It's like a man's Madonna oh, complex, man. right? <laughs> it's, it's 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 where a, a, a woman's best sexual experiences a lot of the times will typically be with the most toxic man she comes across. So that means that the man who actually wants to love her and be traditional is automatically going to be kind of that boring dude to her. So that means that the men who were traditional had to acclimate to understanding that that's how you'll often be seen and treated, even if the woman tells you that that's what she wants. That's why you don't listen to what they say. That's why I don't listen to what but all of this came with the territory. This is all part of it. With this new modern way of doing things, that's what comes along with it. This overstimulation and everything like that that you're talking about it comes along with breaking away from the old tradition and going with the new way. But I will say this, though. There's an ounce of prevention and a pound of cure, and there has to be a pound of cure because you can't put the cat back in the bag. Like Once that woman has that vaginal orgasm for penetration, you can't put it back in the bag and she go back to dealing with little Peter, Peter Wacker. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, I mean, unless that's what gave it to her. It's not gonna yeah, be the same. Yeah, no, that's not that's not what I meant. You know, you're going after the cause. I'm saying if you were following the Bible traditions when it came to dating and, and everything along those lines, she wouldn't be in that situation. She's only in that situation by doing it the way this current society has told her to do it. And she's trying to fix something that should have never been broken in the first place. 
Yeah, but for most, 99% of the time, that's how it's going to go. So it's like, you know, are we going to sit here and, and cry over the past? Like, it's like telling a woman, yeah. oh, yeah. having having kids is baggage, and she a single mother. Well, it's too late. You wanted to kill her kids now? You wanted to go take them out to the river? Well, yeah, the whole story about right. you know, the way they right. the versus the way they date now. No, I'm not saying that they're doing it this way. No, of course they're not. But the whole premise of the show is comparing the old way of dating versus the current way. And I'm saying there was nothing wrong with the old way of dating. It actually was healthy relationship now. This new way is up the relationship and nobody's going together. Somebody's background is like I can like I can hear, but like somebody's background is like it's like little loud. kids. It's like little kids in the background. Who got little kids in their background? No, but I, I, I agree, Dio, to a certain extent. You know what I mean? Because, but I guess I, I look at it as a matter of just what it is and not what it should be. You know what I mean? Because, like, it's, I'm not gonna come across, and I'm not looking to come across a virgin. Because you, I think you're more likely to get manipulated and, and taken advantage of by uh, uh, being more focused on what somebody says. Versus focusing on how they treat you and how your compatibility is in the moment when you actually in their presence. Oh, and, and oh, I'm that you got Negro spirituals playing in the background where you at? That's James Brown. I guess you can count that oh. as a Negro spiritual. <laughs> okay, I'm about to hear something. Wait, who playing? Who playing James Brown? It's just wherever he is, he in a restaurant or something. Maybe I don't know. That's funny. But that's just like what I said earlier, though, with the, the virgin chick I, I was that I met that I was dealing with. Same thing. Like, don't be so caught up on what she's saying and what she is. Like, I need to see what type of a person you are. You know, like at the end of the day. And, and to me, I'd rather vet for compatibility than take somebody's word on a lack of experience. Because sometimes exactly. Not true. Like, you know, right, you know, and this is this is fucked up. This is fucked up. But a woman's not gonna include her rapist in her body count. No. No. Real shit. She ain't. Well, a man and is then, not going like, to. No, a you... man. No, but a man is not going to. Um, a man. Men are only, only, um, okay with like revealing their body count because people have made it okay for men to be like, oh yeah, I've been with a thousand women. Like, you know what I'm saying, Will Chamberlain. But for a woman, uh, a woman Will said, Chamberlain. I've been with a thousand men. Let me tell you, if a woman says she been with a thousand men, y'all be like, ugh, that's so disgusting. Like, she would probably be the biggest. I don't care if she was the most beautiful woman in the world. Y'all be like, ew, that shit's fucking disgusting. What you need a thousand dicks for? Huh? I said, what you need a thousand dicks for? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. For? I don't, I don't think it's cool to sleep with a thousand women either. I also don't think that's cool. But I'm not judging you based off the body. But I'm just saying, when you make that comment, oh, a woman is not going to reveal her body count, and the reason why is because people have made her ashamed to reveal it. No, he no, didn't say that. Right. No, he it's said the same that. Thing. Just the same no, thing. No, he like said it. No, he said. He said the, he said that you guys will include a rape in your body count. He didn't say it at all. He said you he guys. Said you're don't. not gonna what? He said you guys won't include being raped as part of your body count, basically. Like you won't count that oh, as a body no, count. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you shouldn't either. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying what I'm saying is this right here. Now, now I'm gonna say this right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna break down that body count thing real quick though. It, it, it's a visceral discussion. It's misandry. It's not about judging and trying to control women. People are going to have a certain reaction to someone who sleeps with men because men tend to be carriers of diseases and they can also give babies. So if like bisexual women do not want to date bisexual men most of the time because men who have sex with men have higher rates of sexually transmitted infections. It's a biological thing. It's hardwired in their mind. So, you know, uh, the same that way makes sense. that so it, it, it's not who's a matter talking, of wait, who's talking it, right now? It's, it's Coach Brody. It's not a matter oh, okay. of judging a woman mm -hmm. for sleeping with men because women get celebrated for sleeping with women just like men get celebrated for sleeping with women. Whoever sleeps with men has their past scrutinized. Yeah, I can't I can't argue with that, that's true. Because and Wait, I'm say it's like this. Because P P I say like this V equals V, P equals P or P, right? Like vagina mm -hmm. equals value, right? But penis mm -hmm. equals either provision or power. 
which means that either this person had the ability to overpower you to the point of taking you to a place of pleasure that you can't take them, the next person can't, or they provided something and you were in such a state of needing the funds or, or needing the validation that you are willing to allow a person to enter you. So it's like the whole concept of judging a woman on her body count, it's like let a man uh, do the same thing with the same people she's doing it with, he's going to get judged worse than she is. That's true. I have to agree with that one. But I don't I don't I don't really care about the whole body count shit though. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, I, I thought you were talking about the whole body count thing. I'm like, man. No, no, no. I, I was talking about it, but I don't care about it. But the reason okay. I don't care about it is because I know I'm competitive out here. If you mm-hmm. if, but but it takes experience to be competitive. If a man right. like like a man has a certain amount of time to gain some experience, he has a certain amount of time. It's like one man's gonna spend his time just getting his money up, another man's gonna spend time doing different things. You gotta learn both over your lifetime. But whichever one you learn first is going to be typically what you lean on for a period of time. So if you lean on the fact that you know that you're competitive out here in the streets with, with who you deal with, then you're not really worried about a woman's body count. But the typical traditional man is not doing that. So it, it, it kind of puts him at a disadvantage when it comes to dealing with women who are experienced. And I can't be mad at him about it. You want to deal with somebody with similar experience level. That is very, very interesting. What are your thoughts, Alicia? Are you still catching up? People dropping off like flies. Yeah, I don't think there's nothing wrong with somebody wanting to deal with okay. somebody who has a similar level of experience to them. <laughs> I mean, I think, I, I think that's I think that's I know. I'm like, why are everybody dropping off? What's going on? No, no, no. My, my I'm phone, in the middle of cooking, so I, I mute my listen. phone, so there's no background. Uh, okay. So, Alicia, you know. we haven't heard any of your 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 input thoughts. Well, this is my first time, so I'm just listening. I'm just a bystander at this point. Um, so, I mean, I'm an open book, so any, any particular question, I have no problem answering. But like I said, I've been in and out because I've been cooking and what I'm doing, so I. I, I hear some and I don't hear some. So, so that's pretty much that. The chance that the generation has. So what you what you cooking for dinner? <laughs> so, I'm doing Asian tonight, so I'm doing a stir fry with steak <laughs> and the lo mein, and I'm frying some um, cream cheese wontons with side of rice. Ooh, yummy. Okay, sorry guys, sorry guys. But you know, no, I, I think good. one of the I think one of the best situations for people to be in is if they meet somebody when they're young, like let's say it's two people, and you see it from time to time, two people they meet, they in high school, they're compatible, they love each other, they find a way to make it work before they get overstimulated, them people, I think they got a good chance of making it because they're not overstimulated, and then they already build a bond and a connection. I mean, I have to kind of disagree with you because those people are going to actually grow and grow into something else. So they might grow together because it happens all the time, but it also happens where they don't. I can I can, I can I can sit on the fence on this one. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where I like I agree with you. Yeah, we can grow together or not. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? There's also you know in general as you age, right? Yeah. Most of That's us we're saying. not you just oh, grow different, right. grow we, apart sometimes. We didn't fuck the same way in our twenties that we fuck in our thirties, and we won't fuck the same way in our forties. No. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's it's all gonna well, just. I'm, my, I'm just turned forty one, so I'm experiencing it. But go ahead. <laughs> Well, no, I'm just saying in general, you know what I mean? What you were doing at one point where it was more like yeah, the rabbit thing versus the same. making the love thing, it's a little different. Yeah, it so the same. it's not the same. And and if you if you marry young or or you know you're with somebody young and, and both of you have the the want to grow together in every way, including sexually, then you're good. Which it could, you know, trying new things, you know, trying whatever you know and that can you you know and then build on that type of thing you know what i mean but everybody gets a little different as they get a little older you experience different things you notice different things you're like wait a minute yeah people do that i want to try that shit hold on hold on on real quick and and then to be quite honest sometimes you don't even know these people be doing that until you break up with somebody and then you be like, wait, people are out here doing that? Like, seriously. It's not having to break up. Like, you know, I, I, 
you know, dealt with different people in different aspects, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. just, you know, certain things, it's like, oh, I could have been doing that. That's like, that sounds great. <laughs> Where do I find that? That sounds myself? great. <laughs> I think right. communication is important with that. I think it's important to be able to have. But sometimes you don't even know. But see, this is my thing, and that's why people be saying, "I want a person that don't have that much experience, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. And I'm not saying you're supposed to have somebody that's been around the block with everybody, but at the same time, she ain't got no experience with nothing. You like, she don't even really know what she like. Well, and it's not she, just that, but if you keep your communication. Out there. If you keep your communication open, wait, wait, you should wait, be able to wait, have wait. that open conversation wait, wait. Okay, about you can have that. that. You can have that open conversation, but what if you don't know? What if you're a chick and you don't know women are out here getting their hair pulled? You don't know women are out here getting spanked. You don't know I'm women trying to are put out handcuffs here. on somebody's son. Okay, you don't. Okay, you can just put doing handcuffs and that person officially lives under a rock. A person that doesn't know. Yeah, people are yeah, just go on no, Facebook. That's not true. Uh, sometimes I like to go on Facebook. Sometimes I like to go on no, Facebook listen, and see what they talk about. Go on Twitter, see what society, they doing. Say, baby, you want to try this? With women I deal with, I, I, I go on Twitter society, and I'll see some freaky shit and I'll send them the link. I'm like, yeah, let's do this right here. Right, right. Because Amara, you right. Well, not just that. I understand that even movies like, like blockbusters, you know, little mom the, and the pop porno is in today's society mm-hmm. for people to act like they're oblivious to certain things is unrealistic. I it's think because in a lot of aspects, because watching really porn was so frowned upon no. by different people, like your parents and all that, like I would never tell my parents that I'm I don't this is what I pulled out to rent for the night. They look at me like bitch, what? <laughs> what <do> you <laughs> what I'm talking for about the back night? in the days, no, I'm talking about like in today's society. Like, well, that's what I'm saying, but no, as no, we're no, getting no. I'm older. Saying know. I'm saying people don't know that because I'm saying some people aren't thinking that's that's like that's that's the thing to do like oh people are nice. chaining people up people are handcuffing people people are swinging from ceiling fans a lot of people you know they know the what's happening yeah, they but they just it's make sure it's double reinforced and you good right to they think it's, the way they think it's happening <laughs> like, that's what i'm saying they think it's happening but they like that only happens in porn you know what i'm saying that type of shit I, I think it's one of them things where it's really a matter of in relationships. Like I believe you should be able to teach whatever it is that you like, because mm-hmm. you, there's a full list, there's a full spectrum of things that you're gonna need to be satisfied in a relationship. And and the more of those things you actually know how to teach and communicate, the more you can focus on things that are a little bit more important. So me, I put a lot of emphasis on uh, on making sure I'm sexually compatible with women and knowing how to teach what I like. That way, I can focus more on the character of the woman and how she treats me versus if she can hit me with the God God five thousand because I can teach her the God God five thousand. So I don't have oh. to, to to bend my whole life down. Well, then you should to, you should start a class. No, I do. Sorry. That's why I'm Coach Brody. <laughs> Well, it's not just that, but that goes back to the communication. You you should be able to have, you know, that talk that. Right. Here, lay down no, for a second. Not, I want to. No, I want to try not, something. And there's a trust when you say talk. you're not about to like. You know. That's true, but it ain't even the talk. It's more of the. Some people are not aware. Some people are really thinking this is only shit that happens in porn. You see what I'm saying? I, you know, I think men are a big but part of the problem with it. I think men are a big part <laughs> of the problem because mm-hmm. sometimes when a woman brings something up new sexually, a man will start getting the the, the side eye. Like uh, like his woman cheating on him. Who you or like, oh, where you yes. learned that from? Yes, yes. No, I you know I literally did have a boyfriend one time. Um, I got into a biting. <laughs> Don't judge me. I got into a biting, and I was like, I was like kissing him, and I bit him, and he goes, "Oh, where'd you get that from?" And I was like, "Motherfucker, I went to I went to slap him." No, ain't no ain't no real shit though. I, I can that happened to me one time too though. One chick all of a sudden told me, uh-huh. "Oh no, like stop biting me." At first she liked it, and all of a sudden it's like, "Oh no," I'm like, "Wait, what?" Like, uh-huh. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just think, on my mind. Yeah. We're like, "Who you wait? Wait, who wait? Who you, oh, who you oh. been dealing with?" Yeah. And all of a sudden you don't want me doing it. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Anyways, now, nah, but I, I, yeah. Okay. But I, I agree okay. with Cole. I, I would, uh, yeah. That is where a lot of men's mind gonna go. Like, wait, where is this coming from? Especially if that wasn't communicated to you in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. oh, I like this, I like that, I like this, I like, mm. you know, like, you well, should talk about that. I'm going to say something real. 
I'm, I'm gonna say something real, uh, uh, and, mm-hmm. and and this is something that some women may not agree with. Now, I don't judge women based off of their body counts and stuff like that, but I will say this: a man has the greatest ability to uh, process your past before he gets emotionally invested in you. Yeah. So, if you're able to show that you are actually a quality woman and you're honest about how you got down, and and because really a part mm-hmm. of that honesty is based on believing that this person can take you further. If you don't believe that person can take you further than where you've been, you're not gonna tell them the truth. Agreed. No, no, no that's not all that, that might, that might, yeah. You, mean, you don't, you don't think they're gonna take you further? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Sexually, like take you um, further. Okay, sexually. so, so they, you don't believe they can take you sexually further? Hmm. Yeah, well, you don't. Depends, right? Yeah, if you, if you don't believe if if you don't believe that the person could take you further, you're gonna be a lot less open to being honest about how you moved and how you got down. Mm. And I think that's just true. It's like one thing I realized. Is, oh yeah, because you don't want them to think that you're like way over the line. But that's, if you think they're further than you already, thing. then you'll that's tell them all the means. You'll, you'll spill that's all the right, beans. Exactly. Yeah, it, it's mm-hmm. gonna come out eventually anyway. It's gonna come out. You can hide it all you want, but I, but it's better mm-hmm. to find out in a positive way than. You, right. you you six months into the relationship, right. you five years into the relationship, you know, yeah, yeah, I've been faking it this yeah. whole time. You know, really, you got the smallest dick out of all my ex-boyfriends. You know, and then that kind of shit come up, and then well, now, now, now the dude hates you guys. why would you tell, but why would you tell a man that in the first place? I believe, they wait okay, for an argument. Hey, right. My thing is this. I feel, my, my thing is this. I feel like, I feel like... I mean, you gotta give some. You you can't do that. That's not they nice. Wait. <laughs> That's the real thing. They wait for argument. <laughs> they wait for <an> argument. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you guys like to cut. That's when y'all be bringing out the knives. That's when y'all like to cut in the argument. Oh, whatever. Well, that well, they, 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 well, the saying, I've well like the that. saying goes. People tell you the truth when they're angry. They'll tell you the well, truth. I've, well, I've, that's not true because I've never told my dude he had the smallest dick. I'm that not I've saying ever had. you. We're not saying you do. I'm just saying generally when people I'm get mad, they tell you how they really true. feel. I'm just saying even if it was true, no. So I don't know. Maybe that's just them mediocre chicks. I don't know. So you ain't, ain't never been in an argument with anybody, not even just a man, and then the guy mad and said so something you that you knew dude? would hurt them. Huh? That he said about his dick. I'm saying, it, I'm talking about no, just period. Like, even with a woman, you ain't never got mad no, and told a I woman mean, or anybody. Man, I've told him he was a bitch ass nigga. That was the worst thing I've ever told a dude. Did you? I told so him he you was a like bitch ass nigga. Because you was I, mad. Yeah. Did you really feel like he was a bitch ass nigga? Yes, at that point. Okay, yes. that's that's what we're saying. Like when you y'all get mad, that's when y'all, yeah, that's when the truth come out. That's what we're, let that's me, what let I'm me. saying. Let me tell y'all a quick little story, right? So there's this one woman I, I was dealing with, right? I, I was dealing with, I was having a good time, right? And I opened her up because before me, she never had like bad and orgasm penetration. And I've opened up to like the multiples, all that different stuff, the subspace, all that stuff, right? And you know, the cervical orgasms, all that type of stuff. Then she left off from dealing with me because one thing people also don't talk about is oftentimes women have a love-hate relationship with the power that a man can have over them. So when I wasn't mm. even controlling or nothing like that, but the way she felt about me, it kind of it, it kind of burnt her out sometimes, right? So one time she she met a dude, he wanted a relationship. So she went and started a relationship with him. She was dating him for about a year, right? But then after that year, they were having a conversation. She was like, "Well, she she hit me up one day. It's like, you you want can we talk? I was like, "All right, cool, pull up." We pulled up, and when she pulled up and we was talking, and I already caught the vibe. This dude couldn't satisfy her. So I was like, to all right, me, cool. I'm sitting okay, here sitting back me, listening. Uh, okay, no, no, no. no I'm, I'm going to stop you. I'm sorry. But I think to me that sounds like I, there's information missing, number one. And I was I about feel... to give you the information. You cut me off. Okay, go ahead. So while we were sitting in the car and we was talking and she was expressing what's going on, she's like, yeah, earlier tonight we were having a conversation and, you know, I wasn't trying to be mean. I was just being honest. He told me something he didn't like, and I told him something I didn't like. Right? Exactly. And, you know, <laughs> right. There you go. <laughs> he said something I didn't like, so I had to come back with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I, I ain't gonna say what happened next. I don't know who who all. No, I, I'm trying to understand what's going on in the situation, and you're not finished. You told me I cut you off, but you didn't, you didn't finish the story. No, I, that was pretty much the story. What 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 do you feel okay, like? Okay, so what's missing to me? What's missing is to me, she seems like she may have had a mental problem, and I'm just and I'm not even being funny because 
there's no way I had the best sex with a man I've ever had, and I'm just gonna cut him off on some bullshit. Either I'm gonna cut him off on some mental, I'm um, retarded shit. I mean, ooh, let me stop saying that R word. Either I'm gonna cut him off on some mental, I'm um, I'm mental shit, or I'm gonna cut him off on some. Oh my god, you remind me of this person, and you're not really taking me seriously, and da 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 da. No, so no, that's I need what it was more on. Information. Okay, I need yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. That's why I said I need more information. Yeah, yeah. I've, you know, I've had different women do that before. Like, I've, uh, I've, okay. I, I've, I dealt with women Thank before. You. Like, see, I'm see, in the BDSM. See, you see? Okay, so no. Okay, so now you see where he tried to trip us up and try to say, "Oh, that's that's what happened." And it was like, no, there was more to that story. But I ahead. thought I already said that part of the story. No, you didn't. I said who, she who, went who and jumped remember? to a guy who was giving a, a relationship immediately right off the bat. That I feel like that tells that part of the story. Because you didn't want to give her one. No, to me, I have a vetting process. I don't just jump into relationships just because I'm fucking too No, and you shouldn't because I have a vetting process too. But no, no, that's great. That's great. You shouldn't. I'm just asking. So you didn't want to give her a, a relationship right away. But you gave her some dick right away. But you didn't. She had to work for that a little bit too. But that's. But that's you didn't give her no relationship right away. And she wanted one, and that was the problem. I mean, that makes sense. The men do the same shit. Okay, so I got a question then. So, like, why, why, like, okay, because since we're on the subject of dating, because, like, this has been something I was like, it's like, like, a woman has stopped dealing with a dude because he can't satisfy her, but then, like, if a guy do it, like, hit it and quit, it's like, oh man, he gets demonized, but it's like, no, nah, like, no, we didn't need to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so what's well, the difference? Like, like, okay, my thing is this. If you didn't enjoy it, you didn't enjoy it. But a lot of men will lie and skate around the idea. No, nah, I'm, no, I'm talking about what I mean, like me that don't want lie and skate around and just be like, look, no, nah, it just ain't hit for me. Like, oh, then you, all of a sudden. You, you told, so you've told a woman her pussy just wasn't hitting for you? <laughs> we've had, I'm, look, I'm, I'm not going to get into that. But like, again. So have you ever told a woman? I didn't say you got to tell me her name. Have yes, I have. I have. Yes, I have. I have told that her the that the pussy yes, wasn't hidden for you. I I told her that. Yes, I have told her. Wow, yes, I that's have. that's crazy. And no, you know what? No, well, no, she should have no, taken, taken that for what you said. She should have taken that. And, and yeah. But here's my thing, though. But I wouldn't like. I don't. I, I think it kind of like you said. It depends on the woman. Like you might be like, all right, well, we can work through this. And then some be like, nah. Fuck that. I'm not working through no, nobody. Like, somebody tell me my pussy's whack. <laughs> no, you know something that happened. Like he ain't I was talking never about the, getting it again. <laughs> hey, when I was when I was talking about the gentleman gigolo complex, another thing that can pop up sometimes mm-hmm. is the religious point of view for people who already mm-hmm. passed that point. So it's like mm-hmm. I didn't have women who was like submissive. They was down there. They, they, you know, they they swear if they fuel to you up and down, up and down, up and down. But then one night they have just a real intense session, and then the next day they come with it. And I've experienced it with different women too. The next day I just don't feel this, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So one day you felt it, the next day you didn't. Well, you know, it, no, oh. I think you just weren't ready. Whoever felt that way, you just weren't ready. I felt that way too. I felt the way like, ooh, I like this dude. And then when I met him and like we all and then got to the point, you know, to that point, it was just like, mm, I'm good. No, because, you know, it's one of them things where typically I'm going to tell you how it usually happens. Because one thing I've learned is that you can't leave with the A game because if you own a certain level, it can mess with somebody's mental health. And I had well, to learn I that the hard way. I, I don't know about all that, but oh yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah no, it does. No, it kind of does. It's called love bombing. They don't. Well, go no, ahead. No, I mean love. No, love bombing is more than just your dick, sir. No, love but he didn't say that though. Is, he didn't say okay, that. He didn't. No, say that. he said at a certain level we were talking about sex, and then he said at a certain level we were not. No, love bombing is more oh. like I'm just you're my everything. I'm treating you like you're my everything. And then all of a sudden, but that could really mess with you. But that can mess with you mentally, though. They yes, can it can. You if you're treating you like you're my everything, but that has nothing to do with just sex, though. Well, no, I'm talking about stuff like uh, I'm talking about stuff like uh, oh, a woman having them crygasm, like she crying off the dick. No, and then, nobody. And now, now she's see, sitting here, boo down. Sex. See, exactly. <laughs> I'm about talking about sex. And, I'm not even talking yeah. about a woman I'm in a relationship with. I'm dating serious. But she, about he this. said love gasms, <laughs> and love gasms are something totally different. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's like, I mean, things. love bombing. Love bombing is totally different. Love bombing is. But totally I was googling a sex bomb earlier because I was trying to see if that was a thing. Because I'm like, man, 
like I, I done noticed moments where I done stepped up a notch dealing with certain mm -hmm. women. Like there's women who I would be dealing with for a whole eight months, right? There's this one woman. I dealt with her for eight months, right? She was, you know, a fuck buddy of mine. The moment I figured out her body, she lost all her fucking capacity to act like she had Let good sex. Let me tell you something. I do not care. I've had a man give me my first, like, um, not not orgasm, period, but first internal orgasm, and that's a little different than the regular, you know. And I still wasn't, like, crazy about him. You know why? Because I'm like, it's more than just about sex with me. So it just depends on the woman you deal with. No, that's some real stuff. And, and, and that's just something I've noticed, right? And it's like, typically, mm -hmm. women are used to using their clitoris their entire life. You know, as soon as they get old enough, yeah. they flick that beam, yeah. they're flicking that beam. But once they come off of that dick, if something get unlocked in their brain, and if they don't like no, that, no, it's, it's going to be a fight or flight. That. It's not about that. It's if you hit the no, you got to hit the G spot. And if you hit the G spot, it's a little different. That G spot orgasm is different, it's great, it's beautiful. But I ain't never fell in love with nobody from just no sex. So I don't know. Maybe I ain't talking I, about just falling in love. I'm talking about like it's a whole domination experience to go along with it as well. I because that's part of how you get there. And also it's like I'm talking about like cervical orgasm I and shit like that. To, like y'all ain't never had a cervical. There's only there's first of all, there's two orgasms, okay? There's one from there's two orgasms. I'm a woman. I have don't you don't know don't catch yourself up now because I'm an expert. I'm not catching myself topic. up. Boy, bye. <laughs> uh, uh, this is one thing I know what I'm talking about here. So you I sound know like what you're I'm about to say something wrong. Too. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. I was born a woman. And um, first of all, there's one orgasm from your your clitoral whatever. Then there's one orgasm that's the G spot, which is inside. And then there's one again. You can get an orgasm from your your um because I know some women who get orgasms from their their butt or their nipples. Now there are at least four spots within the vagina that, that give orgasms because you got to say there's a G spot, the A spot, the O spot, and the cervix. <sighs> and the most okay, emotionally profound one is that. the cervical let orgasm. Them, let them women tell you that bullshit if they want to. You want to look it up? It's, it's science and it's experience. It's anecdotal. I, actually, I have recorded Let them women tell, tell you them bullshit if they want to. L All just because right. you, you ain't had it, just say that. But that don't mean it don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, Tabby, hit him up one day. He might teach you a little something. That's all he's saying, though. <laughs> mm, mm, no, I'm good. Um, not like that. I mean, like, no, I'm not literally. But you know what I mean? Like, you like, you know. I know. I know what you're saying, Isaiah. I know. I know. I know. I get it. I get it. I don't know. I mean, it might look. I don't know. Yeah, the whole sexual experience thing. I'm not. I won't say I'm like completely experienced. I mean, but I know. I, I've always known when I've dealt with a woman who I knew was clearly more experienced than me. I tell you that. <laughs> I right, tell you that. Right. I will tell you that. How would you know? Because maybe because you know maybe you just think it's. But my thing is this: like, I'm a very like I'm a look I'm a pretty humble. Screen. The cervical orgasm is a very good thing. Okay, so where it comes from. You guys go ahead and read that up, okay? I'll be back. Nah, I was just showing you that it's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, there's no there's no type of really orgasm. That, well, outside of, like, no touch. Shit. That's, we're not going to get into the tantric shit. We're just talking about physical body parts, right? There's no, there's nothing really more emotional than that than that that the cervical and the A spot causes the tears because it's oftentimes it's right next like between the A spot and the cervical is that vagus nerve and that vagus nerve is connected to the cervix and, and the uterus and is also connected to the throat where throat gasms come from too. So that vagus nerve, that thing kind of connects on a certain level that aligns the body and aligns the energy to where a woman just releases and goes in a subspace and in that subspace is like she loses all form and function of her 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 perception of reality in that moment like everything kind of just goes blank and anything you want to do to her she down for it and yeah <laughs> and, and if she agrees to things in that moment that she typically wouldn't agree to in her regular mind then when she comes back to her regular mind it's like she was under the influence yeah she feels like oh wait a minute i didn't i didn't make that conscious decision that was from the and then yeah you did that like that's on you you know what you were doing to me yeah. and, yeah, and that can create like a fight or flight type of response. Yeah. 
Well, she'd be so confused at that point. Like, wait a minute, hold on. Like, what do I though? <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait, hold on, wait a minute. This nigga. I just but it's this all, nigga. but it's all connected, correct? <clears throat> I mean, there's different uh, uh, focal things points. that are connected. They're connected, but there are different focal points. Okay. Just like every part of the body is connected to another part of the body. But just because I I hit you in in in, in your in your arm, and I hit you in your elbow. But yeah, there's, there's, your arm. but there's pressure points. There's there's a lot of different things that you know what I'm saying. So it all depends. And I'm just saying, 